patterns of fine cords and gemstones. During the day, you'll create some stunning pieces that you'll be able to take home. The full course includes a selection of hemp and wax cord and eslon thread, use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios and a chance to visit our museum and shop, all for just $79.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker is your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Our mission is to provide you with the best quality products. Value for money and excellent customer service. Come and learn with us. Tune in every day from 9am to 9pm. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you miss a Jewelry Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewelry Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis, so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. Everybody, welcome to Designer Inspiration. It is lovely to see you all on this Friday afternoon. I hope everyone has got a gorgeous weekend planned. And if you haven't yet, well, I tell you what, Designer Inspiration is going to save you for that. I have got so many amazing guests coming up with me, including I've got Karen for the first time. I've never worked with Karen before. That's on Sunday. Um, and today I have my absolute ultimate lady, my partner in crime. It's Spellbinding, Laura Binding. Hello. Yes! Well done! You're, you're, I know. That, that's so My New good. Year's resolution. Yeah. Get it right. Get it right. <laughs> Hello, wonderful. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Happy New Year to Hi. you. Um, give us the gossip. What's been going on, please? Nothing, really. Cool, great. Um, so, that's we've it, got... Me <laughs> <laughs> you passed your driving test. I did pass my driving test. I've driven up to Redditch. Yeah, Thank exactly. You. Well done. Very Thank good. You. I've braved a motorway. How was it? It was... It was not as scary it? as I thought. Roundabouts still scare me more. That's good. Yeah, That's they still right. scare me more, but, you know, not too bad. Be driving on my own soon, hopefully. Ooh, oh, crossed. I can't wait. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. And what have you got for us today, lovely? Is our Cuffs and Bangles show today? Um, I've got, well, I've had lots of fun, actually. I've got a really beautiful classic combination mm. for the first kit. Um, so a few little cabochons, make a little bit different, you know. Lots of fun. Lots of nice thick wire as well, which is good. Yes. I haven't seen it for a while. Um, so, so beautiful pieces, genuinely. Um, one in particular, I think, has just got my name all yeah. over it. I think we've got a fair split on which one what we're going to share quite equally, aren't yes, we? Yes, I yeah. think absolutely right, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, and apparently Helena as well. Um, I've got loads of treats coming up for you today, genuinely. I'm talking about, I have got some gorgeous um, prong set pendants and I've got gemstones that will go into one of them as well. And um, that's going to be in two separate bundles. But if you are really into your prong set, if you've got the prong set in tools this morning, then how about not just your rings, but using it for your pendants as well. I've got a decent quantity on those for you, and I have got some stunning gemstone to fit in as well, which is part of our gem collector selection, so no drill hole whatsoever. It's going to be an exquisite piece for you. And um, I have also got, I've got to show you this, only a few of these left. Um, it's kind of my last quantity on this, and it is the most exquisite of your emeralds. It's 
Zambian. Now I've had a little look around at what we've got in our vault at the moment and we actually only have one or two other Zambian strands. You know the importance of a Zambian emerald and you know how spectacular Zambian emerald is. We've got loads of Brazilian emerald and don't get me wrong that is lovely but when it comes to one of the rarest varieties and locations this one is hitting a lot of those targets. I've got the last few of these and I think you'll be really impressed with the price as well. I've got coming up with you as well in the next sort of half hour or so this stunning strand of moonstone I launched this for you and I've got to say I fell in love with it then and I'm, I'm so in love with it still I think it's absolutely exceptional moonstone very rare do we get moonstone in your playing rounds like this very rare do we get that variety of your color on it as well of this quality this is going to be under 10 pounds for you today it's absolutely astonishing and i have got a decent quantity of these so please feel free to get your hands on them because this is going to add something to everyone's collection i'm sure of it i've got some stunning angelite as well this gemstone we hardly ever ever see it is such a unique color it's so different if you've not got angelite in your collection you probably won't have anything in your collection like this because it is so purely individual it really really is exceptional i've got some once in an opportunity um spinel coming up for you as well today so loads and loads and loads and loads coming up i suppose we better get started haven't we let's go on the table bit of a bundle to start off with Oh, was that French then? On on the tablet. I think that's probably quite wrong, isn't it? <laughs> um, have a look at my first bundle for you. In fact, I've got something made up by gorgeous Sue JG. Um, she's made something beautiful with these. These are your Nuggets drop style collection. Three strands, all really lengthy and all a little bit special, actually. You have got here a gorgeous, gorgeous strand of your smoky quartz. 150 carats worth of the smoky quartz you have here. You've also got that strand of your cord, carnelian too. 155 carats worth on that. Um, and I've got your rainbow moonstone as well. 160 carats worth. Really good quality. Did you see that blue shiller there on that top one? Absolutely loads of it. Just jumping all over this strand really absolutely stunning um, you have got a gorgeous collection here and if we have a little look at what Sue JG has done she has created an absolutely stunning stunning piece just really working with these nuggets I love how she's used the antiques bronze with it as well this just goes to show she's done if I look at it this is a crocheted piece on elastic I'm presuming or monofilament a monofilament um, and it's a triple crochet she's done the chain link crochet three times and then just made her own little um, clasps for these that go around beautifully just goes to show that this real nice layered effect that can be gotten with these lovely drop style nuggets and um, there's already loads of you coming in for this today possibly because it's such a beautiful array um, of colors that we have running through here and also possibly because we haven't really had a bundle like this for a while now we have though so get your hands on it today your price point should be that's already to me an absolutely exceptional price especially due to the length of these looking around 40 centimeters per one but today we're taking it down your price point for all three strands of genuine gemstones seven pounds and 95 pence for you that's just two pounds 65 a per strand that we have here for you it's a beautiful array that we have and if you do want to add just some extra texture to your pieces because let's face it it's that time of year isn't it that we've probably used up quite a lot of what we've had in our stash making gifts for christmas presents etc so it's a great time for you to stock up especially when we're doing strands for under three pounds each it's a great time for you to get involved seven pounds in 95 pence that reminds me what you get for christmas Ooh, i got a sat nav Ooh. which i never thought i'd be happy to get but i actually well am. of course oh yeah i am because you've never had use for one no. before so i was like oh wow that's great but i actually was like oh my goodness someone to tell me the way so <laughs> and she's australia and i've decided to make her australia okay and what's I her like name that. Trixie. Trixie, of course. Yeah. 
Uh, cool. <laughs> um, and I got a bag, um, a very nice bag. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. From Tony. From Tony. Oh, gosh, oh, he's good, isn't he? Yeah, I've trained him well, haven't I? Haven't I, haven't you? <laughs> haven't you? Well, you've been to Marriott together 13 years, is it now? 15 years. 15 years. In next week. Will be in our, next our, our week. unofficial anniversary. Unofficial yeah. anniversary. Yeah. Married eight. Oh, how nice is that? Oh, bless. Uh, 7.95 for you today. I've got double buyers on this. I know what you're thinking. She doesn't look old enough, but... <laughs> <laughs> I met him when I was very young. Yeah. Not too young. Yeah. Um, so loads of you coming in for this. Do treat yourself if you want it today. Um, on the table, oh, this is a lovely bundle. I really, really, really love this bundle. First off, because you've got two strands that are the same, that are the same, sorry, put my teeth in. Um, you've got two strands that are the same, and I, well, they're the same in shape, size, and in the type. All of these are going to be serpentine. So you've got your beautiful, delicate accent beads here. These ones are your two mil rounds that we have, and you're getting um, two strands, and you're getting the 10 carats worth approximately on here. You've got beautiful colour palettes running through. You can see you've got two slightly different colours. You've almost got a jade like colour running through one of them and then that kind of archetypal serpentine running through the other with that beautiful kind of back hint of the yellow and um, so you're going to be getting two strands um, two mil on each of those beautiful as a little accent really really stunning um, the other one that I'm going to add is another serpentine but it's unlike any serpentine that I have ever seen before because of its form and also due to kind of the natural aspects of it take a look at this it is really really unique stunning I haven't seen anything like this for a really long time. These are your tubes, and they're really decent sized tubes as well. They're 13 by 4 mil. Now, the interesting thing about the size of that is when you think of the tubes we've seen recently, they've either been quite chunky tubes, so say around, you know, your, your 8 by 10 mil, so they're quite chunky. These ones, though, they're beautiful because they're 4 mil in their thickness and then they're 10 mil in length, so it gives you this beautiful kind of feminine um, fluidity to all of these. Of course, it is serpentine, so every single one of them slightly different, um, often referred to as a gemstone of hope as well, due to the ancient story, which I know I've told you a few times about uh, the, the ancient Greek tale about serpentine and it being the gemstone of hope. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful trio we have here. All the same gemstone, but completely different in appearance when you're looking at this pair and this one individually. Now, the lovely thing with these is, if you were to create a whole serpentine piece if you wanted to you could actually have that as a bit of a selling point if you were to sell these on couldn't you the fact that you've worked with the same gemstone look into that story that I know I've told you a fair few times about um, kind of love lost and travels and journeys around the world and to Hades and back again and um, it's really interesting tales and stories and kind of ancient myths and legend based around this gemstone which could be quite nice for you if you are selling your piece on or giving your pieces on to also pass on a little bit of lore and legend as well this is a triple trouble deal we don't see serpentine that often at all very very rarely do we see it in this form in particular i can't think of a time i've ever seen a strand like this let alone of serpentine which already is really unusual for us to get our hands on today but we have we've managed to loads of you already coming in for this your price today eight pounds and 95 pence but wait I love serpentine, you know I do, you know I'm one of those people who if, as soon as I kind of find something really exciting or interesting that really appeals to me individually, I kind of jump on board with it, um, I, I just love kind of the myths and legends and lore behind this, so me and producer Helena were talking about that before, and we want all of you lot to fall in love with it as much as we have, so we are actually taking it down in price three strands of serpentine that you hardly ever see one of the most interesting gemstones in the world when it comes to myth and legend for just six pounds and 95 pence for you today triple buyers on this congratulations to everyone there's loads and loads and loads of you coming in today it really really is one of those so kind of interesting and exciting gemstones to really get your teeth into i know that loads of us have got new year's resolutions this year and quite a lot of people will like to 
to um, kind of focus on, you know, a new hobby or a new passion, maybe your new passion is going to be really finding out about gemstones, finding out about the myth, lore and legend. And if it is, I would genuinely say to you that this is one of the most exciting ones to kind of really find out about because it has been around for, well, millennia, realistically. Um, there's less than 10 left apparently so please do check out your baskets i did have decent quantity but obviously at that price point loads of multi buyers so six pounds and 95 pence for you today now i'll be honest with you spellbinding i haven't seen your challenge yet love ah it's very nice <sighs> price point me you wow what is the size on these these are your pearls they're only a mil off a perfect round, and you can see that instantly. If you're just looking at them like that, they will appear to be a perfect round to you. Only seen once. You could easily, easily be mistaken to think that these were your perfect rounds. They are, of course, only a millimetre off. Um, they are absolutely sensational. When we're dealing with your beautiful pearls such as this, and you have got that gorgeous appeal of kind of the archetypal look, I would say, in the sense that they do almost look round, they've got kind of a beautiful little um, eye-catching appeal because of the way that the, the Orient's kind of refracting that light and giving you this beautiful rainbow-like appeal. Um, these are your peach cultured pearls that we have here today. They're only a mil off a perfect round and you can absolutely tell that they are natural because they do have these beautiful little ripples in, which is fantastic because sometimes when we are dealing with an actual perfect round, they could easily be mistaken for faux. They could easily be mistaken for, um, <laughs> for kind of fake plastic pearls. These ones, of course, aren't, I would say, superbly bridal i know it's something that we say time and time again when it comes to pearls but it's true and um, bridles are uh, sorry pearls are known notoriously uh, bridal because back in the ancient times i think it was the greek times it was believed that um pearls were actually the tears of angels and that's why brides were w would wear them on their wedding day because they believed that they would have the purest form around them so it would give them strength to get through their day it is a stunning strand lots of you already coming in if it was a perfect round you'd be looking at 40 pounds with the pearls it's one mil off so you're only looking at 9.95 pounds for this 9.95 pounds <laughs> nine pounds and 95 pence is what i actually mean um although in some places if these were paired with kind of you know your real precious metals etc you actually could be paying around 995 pounds couldn't you realistically if it's got a name attached to it in particular um you have got a few opportunities to get your hands on this so do so what do you think of these Belby? i think they're really gorgeous really classic yeah um and i think that they've got that sort of because they are that peachy colour, they're kind of like they're lifted in colour. Mm. And they, I don't know, I just think they're really beautiful. I think they're gorgeous, aren't they? Mm. Ideas? Um, I'm thinking of a ring, a solitaire type ring. Brilliant. Um, I'm going to keep it quite simple. So I'm going to do in like a nice classic little set, you know, and then I'm going to probably do something with a little bit of wire. I like that. Oh, fab, quite a few ideas for this yeah. then. Um, £9.95 for you today. You haven't been given this yet, have you? No. Can I pass it to you then, you please? Can. Thank you, lady. Thank you. I've got another challenge strand for you here. Oh my days, the clarity on this is astonishing. I am serious. Okay, carnelian I'm about to bring you now. It's a gorgeous graduated strand. Carnelian though, as we'll all know, often you'll be lucky if kind of on a third of the strand you'll get any clarity. A lot of the time there are a lot of that kind of internal inclusions, always like a silk-like effect internally, which means they're completely opaque. It's fine, it's a lovely thing. But actually when you're looking for kind of really high-end carnelian, and when you find that carnelian kind of the big named locations to go to, you will inevitably get clarity because with carnelian, the clearer it is technically, the higher the price it is. We've got clarity banding through, and let me just state this correctly. I'm seeing it on every one that I'm looking at so far. Let's be safe and say at least 95% of this strand has got beautiful clarity to it. That means that when the light shines through, you get this um, cinnamon burst of colour. It's sensational. Um, the quality of this carnelian is absolutely magnificent. Take a real good look at it. 
I wonder, is my torch working, Brother Pete? Brother Pete. Brother Pete has got a bit of a new look today and I am feeling it. Brother Pete, I don't think he's happy with it. Brother Pete, tell me the truth, you're not happy with your new look? No. You're not? It's no. All right. It's all right. Cold as well. Oh, he's got a cold. Look at him! I know! It's like a new man, isn't it? Where is the torch? I don't know where the torch is that I was asking you for, sweet pea. It's all right, don't worry if you can't find it. Don't worry too much. Um, I was just trying to show you kind of the clarity to this. It is absolutely beautiful. We will have a look for that torch for you. It is absolutely sensational. It's warm, it's rich. You've got that kind of changing colours within it. Um, and don't forget, kind of in ancient times, it used to be believed that you had the masculine tones and the feminine tones of your carnelian. And they were to be worn by the individual sexes exclusively. So it's lovely that you've got both of those colours actually spanning through this which of course as you can see you can use together on this graduated strand from around 3 by one to 6 by 2 as is stranded but you could of course separate these off if you wish to do so the quality is this is genuinely absolutely astonishing I can't actually help but keep lifting it up to the light because it is just the, the way that the light travels through this and because you've got that kind of myriad of the orange tones it giving you this warm zest it's so beautiful it truly truly is get this home i would say to show you the quality of carnelian and what carnelian can be because a lot of the time when we have our carnelian like i said you'd expect about a third of it to have any clarity but this honestly truly truly it is such an exceptional exceptional quality in fact off the top of my head, can't think of a time I've seen a strand similar to this of this quality. So it's going to be hard for me to price point this. So let's let Helena do it for us, shall we? Your price point today. Oh, are you serious? That is not indicative of quality. Honestly, hands on heart, £6.95. pence. I was guessing in my mind at jewellery maker prices that this was going to be one of our 9 95s that was, my in, that was my guess. I would have been really, really happy with a 9 95 If I'd have been told it was a 12 95 I'd have still been pretty chuffed. 6 95 though, for this quality is absolutely a Astonishing. It truly, truly is. Get your hands on this if you can do today. And at 6 95 you may as well, because honestly, quality like this, I can't think of a time I've seen quality like this on this type of gemstone before. So get it whilst you can, because it's going to show you exactly what carnelian can do. And what can it do? Well, it can add richness, it can add depth, it can add light and brightness to your pieces in just a few pounds, 6 95 to be precise. Multi-buyers on this, well done to you all. You're gonna have a lot of fun with this, I think. And so, hopefully, it's Spellbee. What are you gonna be doing with it, love? Um, well, I thought it would go really beautifully with this pearl. Yes. And I thought that, you know, because you've got those shades of the sort of warmth, mm. it would really sort of put a more modern twist on the pearls. Yeah, I love that So idea. I'm thinking of doing something like that. Pairing them together. Come mm. and take this from me, and then will you just hold it up to the light for me, please? Because it's genuinely, it's just astonishing, I think. I think it's gorgeous. So it's like fire, isn't it? Yes, isn't yeah. it? You can't see it. You, they really can't, can no. they? No. That's why you have to get it home. Mm. 30 day money back guarantee, don't yeah, forget. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Treat yourself. Treat yourself to that today. £6.95. Loads of you coming in for that. Please check out those baskets for me. I also need to let you know that I've got some... Oh, we're doing these now. Wowzers. Okay. <clears throat> I was going to tell you about sapphire garnet, which is astonishing, but I've got no time now. Okay, did you get the prong set tool this morning or have you already got it? If you answered yes to either of those two questions, get on the phone now, 0800 644 655, because you're going to wish you got your hands on these if you miss out. Genuine 925 trio of silver pendant mounts three different sizes and I've got a gemstone coming up straight after this that's going to fit into one of them. I'm showing you the smallest to largest so let's get going. 
This is your smallest one. Okay, already people coming in for this. You're going to have to be quick if you want it. This is your six mil mount that we have here if you've got that prong set tool i have got a gemstone to go with this um you've got that beautiful beautiful um kind of shoulder effect that's going to hug onto the gemstone here show you around it you can see there's the bail you've got the flattened back mean it's going to rest really nicely against the decolletage but then it's also got that bow detail at the front which gives you a real nice effect showing you around the back as well you can see you do have that 95 marker on there as well. So this is your six mil. That's the smallest of the three that we have in here. The next one I've got is your nine by six. Hang on. The seven mil one. Or is it a seven mil one? There you go. Um, so this is this one, the smaller one. You've got that beautiful detail again with it hooking around the back. The really important one to note about this one in particular is if I show you the back, can you see that you've actually got the open back of that? Now that means that when you're wearing this, you've got that opportunity for the light of the gemstone to actually span through from both directions. It's going to give beautiful kind of brilliance effect to your designs. And then the largest one I'm ending on now this is a really large, it's great that I've got this style because it means you're going to be able to get a real nice selection of gemstones to fit in here. This is the largest one. This is um, 16 by 12. Look at that, it's huge. If I show you in comparison to the smaller ones, I'm gone, is that the smallest one here? Look at that, such a variety in this. And again, this one has got that open back detail on it, which means again, your light is going to shine through. If I show you all the way around this, loads of you are coming in for this. I'll be happy to tell you I've got a decent enough quantity of this. Right now though, it is less than 50 at this moment in time. Now do not forget for me, this is genuine real deal 925 sterling silver. You can see all three of them together that you are getting. You've got that kind of beautiful drop style. You've got the round as well in there too. They are absolutely absolute stunning your price point today for three of these hardly ever seen pendant mounts 12 pounds and 95 pence for you today on that that is absolutely astonishing so many how many have i got left at that price only got 20 left for you today there is not many of these left at all please do treat yourself to these for all three 12.95 bearing in mind we all know that the price of silver is going up what do you think of that price point i think that's brilliant because Isn't it? you know i mean obviously i i like to do wire work in prong set but you know to have that simple classic um option as well yeah you've got um a, a lovely range then and variety that covers everybody's tastes You've got simple classic set jewellery in sterling silver and for that price that's just this is madness it's astonishing isn't it, it really is i have got a stunning gemstone that's going to fit in the round <coughs> one so this one that i have on the end there it's going to fit into this one that's the gemstone i've got coming up for you straight after this as soon as these have gone it's going to be a sellout we knew that already i have got less than 10 and i've probably got about 15 ish in baskets so the faster you check out then you can confirm you've got it if you are new to us just to let you know it's two pounds 95 postage packaging for the entire day up until midnight tonight doesn't matter how much stuff you get buy one item buy every item you see it's still only two pounds and 95 pence and um, it is going to be a sellout and what i will say as well is if you are new to us and you put it in your basket it's not until you click the checkout button that it's actually yours so just to let you know that, £12.95 on those three, that is absolutely exceptional. And I do have a gemstone to fit one of them right now for you. Again, an all right quantity for gem collector, which you know generally is very, very low. Um, oh my gosh, you are going to adore this. This is garnet, but not any type of garnet. This is your tangerine garnet. No, it's not. Wait, where is it? It's your Mystic Cosmo Blue. I have got Tangerine Garnet coming up for you in a bit though. Uh, this is your Mystic Cosmic Blue uh, Topaz. Now when we talk about, oh look at that effect. Can I get this out? Do you mind? Guess what? I might not have my torch, but I've got my grabber back. Can you fix that? Now, just to let you know, this will fit into that six mil size. I've got low stir. You are right, love? Yeah, I yep. thought I was going to sort of like... Uh, you thought you were going to fall over, did you? Yeah. Um, but you're all right, good. All right. Let me show you this. Oh, my goodness. Enjoy the beauty of this. Gem Collector. 
So even if you've not got the prong set in, you're not thinking of prong set in these, Gem Collector, I'm going to get you priced in so everyone has the chance your price point today. It's just £14.95 and look at that. The quality is absolutely astonishing, isn't it? This is going to fit into that 6 mil that we have for you and I've not got many of these left now. I'm, I'm in, I've not got many of these left whatsoever. I'm in my last chance saloon on this right now. Please do check out those baskets if you want this. Last chance saloon, 30 or less. Please do get your hands on it whilst you can. £14.95 and just imagine that set into this hanging as a pendant it's 925 and that absolutely amazing quality it is it is a birthstone as well isn't it if you've got a birthstone coming up um but seriously imagine that if you were even thinking of selling that for any less than 40 pounds i would seriously say you need to think again this astonishing quality uh, congratulations everybody just one or two of those left now this next one will also fit for you. Is it fitting into the same one? Yeah. So you can have a little pick out of which one you want. Which one is it, sorry, love? The garnet. Told you this one fits well. Uh, I've got the garnet for you here now. This one will also fit into one of those trios that you've got. So maybe you'd like to get your hands on this. Maybe you want to add some spice to your designs and this is the way you can do it. If you're unaware of what Gem Collector is, it is absolute pinnacle point of excellence when it comes to our gemstones. They are cut specifically for this collection. These are usually reserved for our sister channel, but recently we've had a few on Jewelry Maker and you lot have loved them so much. A lot of you will just collect them for the purposes of you know having this kind of a, a talking point on your stall or a coffee table piece I know I've had some messages sent through a while ago now saying that people bought old photo albums and and slotted them into the pocket so it's kind of like a collector's book almost of these gemstones they come with the authenticity certificate that you can see there on the front um, with all your information on there as well and they also come with all your stickers and all your kind of authenticity um, information as well as well as that stunning gemstone let me get it out for you so you can really have a look at it when we're talking about garnet well have you ever seen a strand of tangerine garnet on jewelry maker i've not i can think of I've not um, and that's kind of because of the rarity of the gem itself and also just by the fact that we can't get the quantities uh, here that we would like to it is such a rarity and it's such a kind of exquisite collector connoisseur piece which is why it's part of the gem collector selection the vibrancy of this it's almost glowing isn't it it's got that warm glowing internally that flame like effect you can see there's the table so you can see the shape of the gemstone and then coming down to that culé point just at the base of this as well this too will be fitting into one of those trios that i brought to you in the 925 um your price point today for your tangerine garnet is just 11 pounds and 95 pence for you today this is genuinely pinnacle point of excellence excellent when we're looking at these these are exquisite exquisite high-end gemstones we always have a relatively low quantity of our gem collector selection we'll never have kind of more than 50 really will we ever that i've seen and that's because it has to go through so many strict kind of um rules and regulations and tick lists to even get into the gem collector selection this is the type of piece and the type of quality that our sister channel will set into their jewelry it's 11 pounds and 95 pence for you well done to everyone who's getting that at uh, cheshire and manchester tynan weir lancashire gwent uh, northumberland norfolk Essex, loads of yeah loads and loads uh, well done to you all for getting that got so much to fit in where did you say love Yay! It's time now to bring you that multicolored moonstone. Uh, do check out your baskets. I've probably got about five of those left. Um, this is your multicolored moonstone. Every single one. Oh, it's just got this beautiful shiller. It's such a unique gem. It's such a unique gem strand, sorry. Because it's very rare we will see your perfect plain rounds of moonstone. And there's no graduation, which means it's a really, really workable, workable strand that we have here. The quality is obvious. You can see the quality even through your TV screens at home, can't you? It's absolutely 
beautiful kind of span of effects that we've got running through here. That's Mother Nature, don't forget, that's bringing us this. It's such a mystical gemstone for so, so many, many reasons. It really, really is. Um, it's beautiful that you get that shiller and that's due to a the structure of the gemstone uh, mainly due to the structure of the gemstone in the sense that what happens is in the formation of this as the kind of new minerals that are forming uh, kind of cool they cool at different stages they cool at different points and what happens is as they cool you get this intergrowth that stacks perfectly together now what that means is the light has to kind of fight to get out of the gemstone which gives you this gorgeous shiller and sheen effect totally natural that is mother nature working would you like to see the array of colors so you're going from kind of oh look at that oh that's so stunning you've got some gentle masala tones you've got those deep rich kind of titanium grays running through there to the purest of whites as well in fact some of these colors that go really nicely with those pearls that we gave to spellbinding as a challenge you've got a gorgeous array running through every single one you can see the quality on all of these every single one has got absolutely exceptional quality it is beautiful now i just want to give everyone a heads up quadruple buyers double buyers on this and they're all the web people everyone who's multi-bought so far are web based that's because they can see the price now this is such a unique and individual high quality stunning strand it's unique it's individual i've just been told by my producer the phone is going to overload it is i launched this strand for you and i know that it was just such a dramatic kind of there was minutes and minutes worth of cues on the phone instantly because a it's unique and individual when have you seen a perfect round strand like this you don't with moonstone do you often we might have fasted it or might be in drops a lot of the time or in nuggets like we've already had on today but you very rarely get it in one continuous size of the four mil playing rounds also when do you get it that the colors have been this much thought out and they've actually graded them together for you also when do you see this much quality as a general rule you can see it not just on kind of one color which sometimes is the case isn't it sometimes when we do your multicolored strand like this what happens is we might have really good quality i don't know white moonstone but the peach moonstone isn't kind of up to its past the white's kind of sparkling away but the peach isn't doing anything this strand's been so thought out every single one of these color bandings will have some sort of shiller at some point within them and another important thing to mention clarity on this is every single one of them has got it it's got that gorgeous clarity to it so you've got all of these positives about this strand which already telephoners let's be honest it's probably setting off in your mind that this is going to be kind of around the 15 pounds mark which would be great it's not though i'm taking it under 10 for you today your price point today for a stunning 48 carats of the multicolored moonstone seven pounds and 95 pence for you today that is astonishing what do you think of this strand spell binding i just think that's brilliant isn't it and you've got that whole range of color through there like what you would class as um, a classic moonstone with the sort of the the whiter color yes and then you've got the peach and the gray i just think you've got a, a real assortment now you've got almost like a little bit of a taster of all of the the range of it do you know what i mean yeah. what what it can do i know exactly what you mean what it offers you and what yeah. it can bring yeah. to you it is nice it's almost there is a bit of a cue on the phone do bear with us uh, it, it is worth it completely completely worth it do bear with us obviously uh, we will be with you i'm happy to say i've got a, i've got a hundred or so of this yeah I've got quite a few of these, so uh, plenty for you to go around. Probably not enough for you to hang up and then ring back in five minutes, though. So do just stay exactly where you are. That is uh, probably the best move to make right now. It is nice to have an arrange like this because sometimes you might see a white strand of moonstone that you like the look of, and then you'll see a peach one, and then you'll see a grey one, yeah. and you kind of have to buy <coughs> three individual. With this, you've got a whole lot there, haven't you? Absolutely. And I think also it's good if people do sell. Um, you know, I would have a selection of them. I would have that whole kind of um, that whole strand cut up mm -hmm. and put into a little pot, and then just labelled moonstone. Because then people would be like, well, 
that's great what all of this and it gives you again it's something to talk about and say yeah it comes in all those colors because not everybody knows that they associate it with the rainbow and the yeah. clear they don't realize there's that range there's of it. that range of colors <laughs> and that all has that beautiful possibility yeah. to give you shiller uh, loads of you in for this well done everyone you are all coming through on the phone lines now we're getting on top of that queue 7.95 for you today i think that's absolutely stunning please do stay tuned for us because Oh. I love this. Oh my gosh, the quality of this gem is a st look at the brilliance that you just got. Oh my days. This is coming up for you very, very soon. Very rare that we get this gemstone in because it is so hard to mine. But I'll tell you more about that later. Stunning Imperial Topaz. Now, though, whoa. When's this Labradorite coming up? Really? Coming up before four for you today. Have you seen the quality of this? Amazing. Uh, that's coming up for you in a bit as well. I'm so sorry, I could show you everything today, but I won't. Um, don't forget that Angelite's coming up for you in a little bit as well. Now, can you do me a huge favor? Can you pass me uh, my favorite, my gorgeous, bangle please that we're going to be making today yeah please just so people can see what we're going to be making this is so special i need to put it on just to really <laughs> give you an idea of a uh, of course you know really need to yeah just to show you you are going to love this it's sensational and we're going to be learning how to make this in a few moments how beautiful is that Absolutely divine. It almost looks a bit lacy, doesn't it? Doesn't it? But it's actually not. This is coming up for you. So comfortable. And I know that for a fact because uh, Spellbinder had to kind of prize it off me <laughs> earlier on. <laughs> um, it's beautiful. That's coming up for you. And you need to get the kit to be able to make this beautiful creation. I think not only the design's beautiful, but actually the colour palette is unique as well. So if you want to get your hands on it, do so now. Um, you have got the main piece of this, which is, of course, your wire ribbon. Relatively new to us still here at Jewelry Maker. If you haven't seen it before, we describe it as kind of a luxury mesh, as it were. And this is in your frost colouring that we have here for you. 20 mil, and you get 24 inches of this in total. You can see it's all spooled up within there. Um, so you can do absolutely loads and loads and loads with this. We'll show you around that more in a moment beautiful movability to that as well i've then got some wire for you three different um three different spools you've got the thickest one of our thickest gauges here this is your 1.25 in that silver that we have here for you today so super duper high amount of metal in here which already needs to bear in mind that this is going to be one of those luxury pieces um, i've also got for you your one mil in the turquoise as well so again another really kind of sturdy structural wire that we've got here for you in that one mil but it's got that beautiful turquoise color which goes so fantastically with the uh, captions you've got in here. And you've got the 0.4 as well that's also in the silver. Beautiful for your weaving. And again, it's going to be essential to get your hands on if you want to create some of the pieces in this kit. So 30 metres worth of the wire in total. I've also got for you a strand. This is what we've used to go around the outside of this beautiful, beautiful piece, almost giving you that kind of, um, sort of filigree effect, I suppose, isn't it? You, these are your clear quartz rounds that we have here, about three mil on these ones. Decent sized drill hole spell binding was saying before on these ones, which is extremely useful. And it does almost give you this beautiful lace detail effect. I think it actually adds another dimension to that wire ribbon. 3 mil on those ones, around 20 carats worth in total. I've also got your caps. Take a look at these. Five in total. The lovely thing I think about this collection and about these caps, as I said spellbinding before, is the fact that it's rare you will get a kit where you could actually say every single one of those could be a ring. 
often you'll get one that's maybe ring size and then the other five would have to be a pendant or a bracelet piece because they're so big and bold they'd be too chunky but every single one of these are beautiful for a ring size you go from a statement all the way to a relatively delicate piece on these but again don't forget you can of course use these as your pendant pieces maybe you're not one of those people who likes the really over the top chunky pieces if you're not then these are perfect for you this is your turquoise we've got your round cap which is 16 mil You've got your oval cab, which is 15 by 20 mil. You've got your pair as well, which is 12 by 16 on those ones. Um, you've also got the slightly larger oval as well at the 20 by 15. And you've got the uh, 15, uh, sorry, the 15 by 20 as well on the other one too. So you've got all of those different sizes. Two in your pairs, two in your rounds, and one of your ovals. The rounds are quite like as well, actually, because if I show you the difference in the appeal, can you see that this one's relatively flattened, but you've got that kind of um, detail around the side, whereas this one is much more of a classical on cabochon shape in the sense that you've got that real doming over the top of it, so it's going to give you two real different appeals. Um, let's reiterate exactly what we've got, shall we? We've got these five cabochons for you. I've also got that strand of the clear quartz. You've got 30 metres worth of the wire, and I have that ribbon for you too. We're going to be learning how to make this today, including how to use and make your own clasps to finish off this wire ribbon, which I know is something people have been asking for. And we're going to learn that today, exactly how to finish this off with your own wire clasps. Your price point today should be... We are going to take more than 15 pounds off this today we're actually going to take more than 16 pounds off okay we're going to take more than 20 pounds off get on the phone whilst you can your price point today isn't 50 it's just 28 pounds and 95 pence for you today that is truly an astonishing astonishing price point we've given you over 21 pounds off off this today 21 pounds are back in your pocket very very rarely can you actually say that but you can today five of those cabochons we're going to learn how to make this piece in particular now to create this piece you are going to need this kit because it's not the type of components that you may well have individually and let's face it you might just be missing the small cabs but really if you want to create something beautiful that fits the ribbon as well as this cabochon does you're going to need this collection because if you have a cabochon that's maybe the sort of um normal size that's maybe the kind of you know 30 by 40 mil it's going to be far too large to be resting upon that wire mesh ribbon in the form that we have it here today do treat yourself to this today because it is your turquoise temptation tell me how it was to work with please Bulby. it was really gorgeous i really enjoyed working with this i mean it's my colors isn't it let's it is. be fair yeah um i just think it's beautiful it's definitely one i'd be adding to my collection you've got the thick wire you've got turquoise it's just stunning. It's truly, truly sensational. And actually, you've done plenty with it. Well, I've used, I've still got loads left, but I've used practically all of the gemstones, which, mm. you know, um, there's five cabochons there, and I've used all five of them. Mm. And um, the little, and I used practically every single one of those little tiny um, beads as well. The t little ones, they've given a really nice detail and a really nice effect to this, I have to say. <laughs> What? Nothing. I'm not doing a lot of the cameras again today. You're mean to me. We're not. That's how we have to put the cameras like this. We have to. You know I don't I like it one. though because you get to see like your hair at weird angles. Yeah. <laughs> I've just thrown that bracelet. How rude. Oh no, it's attached to things. <laughs> And this is why we love working with you. Oh, um, <laughs> this is such a beautiful piece. Do you want me to really, really. Put it on you yeah, go on now. There we go. Um, you've made loads with <laughs> me. I love working with spellbinders. She just adorns me in jewels. There you go. Um, Thank you. You have made such a massive collection. Yeah. Do you know what I love about this one? Is it just me, or does that look just like uh, peacock feathers? <laughs> does doesn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm we're sorry. laughing because my tech op has just hurt himself. Are you all right, Are you Laura? I was going to try right, sweetie? What did okay. you do? <laughs> what did you Are do, you Laura? Okay? I was walking. Right? You were walking? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Tricky. Yeah. You tripped over a cable. Yeah, strange. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love that you had to show the kind of lunge that you accidentally did. Oh, poor Ben. Um, I love that you've got that kind mm. of peacock effect on this one. I think it's absolutely sensational. What was yeah. your inspiration behind that one? I just thought, well, the first one I did was the one that you're wearing because mm -hmm. I thought I wanted to incorporate the ribbon and, and make that piece. Mm. Um, then I made the ring because I got completely sidetracked and I just wanted to make the ring. <laughs> yeah, and it's perfect um, for it. You know, and then I thought, well, I wanted to incorporate the, the turquoise wire and I had these two smaller ones. I'd already knew I was going to set that one. I just thought I wanted them to sort of meet, but, you know, because they were both teardrops. Yeah. I wanted them to kind of meet, but still have that feature as well and okay, stand out. Mean, so yeah, yeah. I was thinking kind of flower and sort of just see how it turned out. But I can, I can see what you mean about the feathers. It really does, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it, it was just, I just wanted them to be the, the centre feature, but you've yeah. still got the detail all the way around Yeah. Um, the actual bracelet itself. Because you've incorporated that wire yeah. through the entire piece. Yeah. I really, oh, I just absolutely adore this. It, it's one of those pieces that you can see a lot of thought has gone into it. Yeah. It's kind of a, a very professional looking piece. I like how you've kind of twisted and used the, the wire in a different way, that ribbon. I wanted to do something a little bit more delicate, mm. but still get that impact. Yeah. Um, so you, you just literally, you just twist it as you're going along. And then again, I just made a little cap. Again, I chose to use the turquoise just to tie that color in a little bit. Mm. Um, you don't have to, you can use the silver. Um, but you know, that's just a nice little thing. Um, and you, I haven't on that one because I just literally, I've, I ran out of time, but you can sew it with the 0.4 and just completely secure it if you wanted to. It is secure, all of the twists are secure, but yeah. if you wanted to be double sure. And I think that's like my favorite ring. I just love that. I just, yeah. It looks fantastic. Um, have you hammered this? A little bit. Um, a little bit, yeah, just to give it a little bit of strength. I did use my big hammer on the ring mandrel so you can see my hammer marks quite a little bit. Whereas if I'd have used a little, hammer which was in my ring mandra I was just couldn't be bothered to get the, the, the hammer out to be honest so um, it would make a difference on the finish I have got the anvil coming up for you later it's back in stock for you the mini anvils back in stock for you today oh, I've just noticed sorry about that that was my dog the other day my dog saw a squirrel and then went after it have you seen up oh. Yeah, you know you've got that like golden retriever in it. They go squirrel. That's what my dog is like. And my dog sort of I hit my hand out the door. It's just the same, Ryan. Oh, you got her a squirrel toy for Christmas. That's <laughs> adorable. <laughs> um, so we're going to be learning yeah. how to create this. Where do I need to be? Jewelry making stages. Anywhere is quite simple. And the thing is, you can take this as, as simple or, or make it as complicated as you want. Fab. Um, people that know me know that I'm not in any way mixed media really I'm not really like a textiles kind of person yeah. so if I can do this then pretty much anybody can fab so okay. we've got a few treats coming up for you including that mini anvil and if you do want to get your hands on the different colors <coughs> of wire I've got that coming up for you the wire ribbon sorry I've got that coming up for you in a little bit as well I still had all of this as well by the way um, you had this, loads I still left. had a bit enough to make another bracelet um, a very tiny handful of them um, hmm. Show you on of there. your gemstones. Of my gemstones. Um, very tiny little handful of the, the little stones um, and that wire. Plenty. So I've still got, you know, I've still Loads got up. stash, stashable stuff there. And price point me. I, I put that takes a lot of time, mm -hmm. believe it or not. So I mean that one, I would probably sell that one for about twenty-five to thirty pound because you it, people forget to put their time into the, yeah, the no, cost of really the design. Isn't it? Um, and you've got turquoise there. You know, you've got a turquoise cabochon. It's just my director has just made a very good point about your people forget to add their time on. Ryan just went mechanics don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, they um, don't. <laughs> the lovely thing is that thirty pounds worth. You've got your money back on this. Yeah. I mean, even if, kit. even if you sold that for 20 to 25, I mean, you've got that cuff at the end there that I would sell There's that got for two about, Yeah, I would sell that for 25 to 30 pounds. Again, you've got to remember you've, you, your time that you've put into that, your thought, your design. You know, it takes time to do this weaving. It takes time to net those stones. You know, all of that has to be factored in. You easily get your money back with 
one or two pieces. Absolutely. Um, so do treat yourself to this today. And what we'll say is, if you do want some little little covers, have you seen these before? No, they're cute. How cute are oh, they? I'm not them. either. I do. These are coming up for you, and you might be able to do some of these similar techniques mm. using these ones. How cute see are they? They're coming up for you in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Only about twenty of that kit left, so do be quick if you want it. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. Cool. Well, like I said, I still surprisingly got quite a lot of these quartz. Quartz. These little ones. Mm. Yeah. yeah, these are really cute, and these are the size that I do quite like working with because they're not so teeny they run away from me. You can't do two mils, <laughs> no. but a three mil. I'm, I'm happy with a yeah, three mil. Yeah, you're on board with. Yeah, okay. I'm friends with them. Yeah, <laughs> friends with them. Yeah. <laughs> It's just because they run away, that's all. But there probably would have been a few more. I'm sure there's a few on my floor. <laughs> in the dining room, obviously. Cool. Um, it's all right. <laughs> Someone will find them. Kayla yeah, will Kayla find them. Kayla will find them, I yeah. Of course you will. Run over to Daddy. Look what I found. Yeah. We won't discuss that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So I've still got this little section of, um, of left ribbon left, so I'm going to use this. Okay. Um, now, what I've personally found, the best thing for cutting the ribbon is either using, you know, if you have the tin snips that we sell, yeah. Um, or the leather cutters. cutters, but then any kind of cutters, just because when you cut it, and I will warn you, when you cut it, it does get a little bit messy. You can see there all the little sprinkles. A little bit, yeah, yeah. So just make sure that you use a beading tray, or, or, you know, I mean, sometimes I sit in the kitchen on a worktop because it's nice and bright out there. Yeah. So be aware, because obviously you don't want little bits of sort of wire going in your food or anything. No. All in right. your food? Who jewelry makes over their food? Well, no, but if it's in the kitchen and you... Right. <laughs> No, I just wondered if you did. People make jewellery in peculiar places. Yeah, no, I meant it's in the kitchen, so it's in that workspace. You Got know, it, 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 that's what I, just, <laughs> I just had this image of you making a spag ball and just whilst you're there, <laughs> sprinkle it with some wire. Yeah. I just let you know we don't have any of the tin snips or the leather cutters in at the moment, but if you do have them, you can use them. If not, we're hoping to get them back in stock yeah. for you soon enough, and you can just use your normal You can snips. just use your flash cutters as yeah. well, and you can use just normal scissors as just to, if you've got them, then they're oh. handy. Okay, so with this one because you don't really want to waste this ribbon um, you know it's something that you you just size it really you know if you know you're going to be making um, a wrist to fit uh, uh, a bracelet to fit say a seven and a half wrist or a six and a half wrist you need to allow um, a little gap for your your clasp, clasp yeah. which could be, I mean I've because of the size of that one I made that clasp to fit mm -hmm. um, but you can make it so you would just measure it out okay. before you cut it you know so you'd measure it on your board and then make sure you've got the right amount, uh, right size. And cut it. Okay. So then the next thing I did was I chose this, the capuchon I chose, which I, oh, there it is, was the larger round one for two reasons. One, it's, like you say, it's quite highly domed. Yeah. So it's got um, a really nice work surface that you can really sort of cage it in securely without having, I didn't want to net it because I knew I was going to be doing the netting on the other designs. I wanted to do something a little bit different, yeah. um, but still keep the design of the stone. So if it had been shallower or smaller, you kind of might have lost a little bit of the stone. I know you that mean. makes yeah, sense. I do know you mean. Plus, it fits quite nicely. And it's a nice little feature in the middle of the, of the, the bracelet, really. Yeah, fab. And it does, you can see it fits perfectly on yeah, the ribbon. Yeah, it fits really nicely on the ribbon. It's perfect size. It doesn't get lost, and, and you can embellish it as well. Fab. So, you, you know, mark whereabouts is going to be in the centre so that you've got a mental note because when we start sort of sewing with the um, with the little stones you, you're gonna start when if I say it like this when I did this in my mind I started just adding these and then when you get here you need to start using the wire to secure the outer frame so that's why you need to get in your mind first of all a, a place where it's gonna go okay okay so you're gonna take some point four wire And for this, I took about a metre, metre and a half, two metres or so. I wanted quite, <laughs> quite a lot, what? basically. A metre, metre and a half, two metres. A lot of wire. <laughs> All right. As much as you can about handle. Two miles. About two, two metres. Miles. Two miles. <laughs> OK. <laughs> that is a lot. We're going to get banned. <laughs> Again. Um, you know, one and a half, two metres or so. It's whatever you feel comfortable working with. But I wanted to not have to keep adding wire in because it's not so easy to sort of blend it in and out of this. Um, sort of design. Mm. You don't want lots of little edges, um, so I wanted to make it as continuous as I could. Okay. Okay. Um, so now what I'm going to do is actually just do the ends quickly because we need to do the um, caps. Yeah. And we're going to start off by sewing them, then adding the little stones. So it's going to be quite a continuous. Oh, good. Piece. Piece. All right. Yeah. Get rid of these pieces. So I used the 1.25, and I cut off four lengths, all the same. 
and they were probably about five inches. We've just had a text in. <laughs> I quite like. <laughs> I always want. Got it. Dog just ate my JM Inspiration nipples. Not impressed. Your beautiful designs are making me smile again. Thank you. Stacey, I love JM Inspiration nipples. That's really cool. I'm, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to, might be stealing that idea. That's yeah, quite it. I love that. What were they? What were they? What? Do you think we should get some? Maybe that's something we should think about yeah. doing. Mm -hmm. That would be JM good. Nipples. Yeah, you could put it in the workshop for us as well. Inspiration nipples. Yeah. That, oh, that, yeah. What type of food do you think is inspirational? Hummus. Hummus. <laughs> of course it is. Of course. <laughs> Straight up there. Hummus, Hummus. is inspirational. Hummus. Of course. What? What are you saying? Guacamole. What? Mm. So are we saying that just dip? Just dip. <laughs> <laughs> Purely just a dip base. <laughs> and cake. Cake and, cake and chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Really healthy, basically. <laughs> yeah. So dips and chocolate. Good. Yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. work not on together. it. Not together. I was trying to say together. That's not right. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for oh, that, thank Stacey. You. Um, well, we're going to be getting, uh, I can say it because uh, the kids are at school, but we're going to be getting a puppy. No, you're not. Yes, we are. What type? Um, that is a Bed Linton Whippet. Yeah. And Mummy is a Whippet, we think. A brindle coat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know how much I love my dogs. Yeah. That is so exciting. I know. We're getting her next week. <gasps> Please send me a picture straight away. Okay. <laughs> Good. So with, your, with your new selfie stick. Yeah. <laughs> how cool is that? She's got a new selfie stick. So <laughs> cool. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just thought I'd mention it. Um, okay, so what I've done, sorry, I got a bit on, uh, skipped on ahead. So I'm just gonna put my pliers in the middle of the wire. I've cut four pieces off, and I'm just going to form a loop, okay? Doesn't matter if it's slightly off center, it's not a problem. And what you want is probably about two inches either side. So you can sort of measure it, or you can just go by eye, which I tend to do. Um, and then, taking my pliers, my round nose pliers, I'm just going to form a spiral inwards. Now, 1.25 wire is thicker, so mm -hmm. it is going to be a little bit trickier. So once you've got that first part of the spiral, take your flat nose pliers, if you've got them, and they will give you a nice grip, okay? And then turn the wire. Okay. Okay? Because if you're trying to do that, your, wire, your, your pliers could slip, and that's when you're quite likely to mark the wire. But if you're using your pliers as a um, as a vice, you can just use your hand to sort of turn the wire. Twist it, I see. Because it is it is thicker, so it's a little bit harder. So you don't get that sort of it doesn't form quite so easily. Okay. Okay. We will be bringing you some more of the ribbon in a moment. We'll show you exactly how to make the clasp, and then I'll bring you some other different colours. Just to let you know, once everyone checks out, I'll have about eight of that kit left. So please be quick. Okay. So you get like a little heart. Okay, all right, and then what you do is um, you would do four of those, okay, um, and they would uh, make sure that they're all the same sort of size okay, because I see. they're both going to go either side of the ribbon. I see, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want, I'll quickly make the four up. Brilliant, yeah, okay. So whilst uh, Spellbee's doing that, are we bringing the rainbow? Did you say the meadow? Sorry, have you seen meadow? I worked with that one, it is lush, isn't it? Really yeah. fantastical. We've had another text in about a dog. I really like this one. You like this? It's a good one. <laughs> oh, we've got to get the graphics on first. <laughs> Whatever. I want to hear about this lady's chihuahua, please. Oh, chihuahua. <laughs> My chihuahua? <laughs> who, who, what? Oh, who are? Who are? Chua. No, is that part of chihuahua? <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> it's pregnant. Can't wait. Tara. Congratulations to your Aww. chihuahua! I love Aww. that. That's part of the reason we got a girl as well, because we've got a friend who's got um, a boy whip it. So maybe you can mm. have more puppies later Well, on. the problem is I won't be able to part with them. No, of course you won't. I just have no. a house, so I'd become that mad puppy <laughs> dog lady. Puppy lady. <laughs> puppy lady. <laughs> I could just imagine you being pulled <laughs> on by 20 whippets in the yeah. park. And yeah, and whippets <laughs> as well, not the, love you know. It. Um, thank you for that, Tara. This is your meadow wire that we have here for you today. It's fantastic, isn't it? It's kind of, you've got this beautiful, oh, isn't it gorgeous? It's almost a diesel look. It reminds me a lot of the hematite and the pyrite we have on sometimes that has that beautiful rainbow coating. So if you do have anything like that, it's going to give you a really nice effect, isn't it? 
<clears throat> it's an interesting name for it, meadow, isn't it? But it's kind of almost like a, a rainbow. I don't know. A, a, yeah, it's like a rainbow, isn't it? But it's like a, lots of a, a meadow with wild flowers. Maybe that's where they were going with it, with all those pinks <laughs> and kind of periwinkles and beautiful bright colours. The lovely thing about this actually is because you've got that different range of colour, it'll be nice because you can have citrine with this, you can have turquoise with this, you can have amethyst with this, ruby with this, spinel with this. Because of that colouring, there's lots and lots of gems this is going to go with. Again, you've got 24 inches. This is how it looks in its kind of raw form as you unspool it. But as you can see, you can of course twist it, you can stretch it out a little bit. You can give lots of different effects to this. Um, you can sew onto it as we're showing you shortly as well. And actually, I quite like this like design of this as, as maybe like a yeah. choker, Ryan said. Yeah, it, it would be really nice. Really gorgeous, um, like catching. Yeah, you could do that. And again, you could set, yeah, have that just like that and have some drops coming off it. I, I did something similar in my last um, design inspiration mm. when we had chains mm. sort of coming off as well. Um, but I did, I actually twisted that and almost made it like little pea pods. So you put a couple of gemstones oh, in it, that. in each sort of twisted section. section and then, and then a little flower, um, made a little sort of rose out of one as well. Oh, I love that idea. Um, lots you can do on this. We have had quite a bit of inspiration with this. So do have a look on YouTube. Your price is just $14.95 today. Get it whilst you can um, because it's been one of our most popular colours. We do have enough for you if you want it though. $14.95 today. Okay. Okay. Have you done those class? Well, I've done three. I'm not going to do all of them, but okay. that's fine. It's just for you to get the idea. So the point is that you, once you've done them, mm. you'll be able to put them together Okay, and what they're going to do is they're going to go either side of the ribbon and be sewn to become that clasp. Okay, I see, yeah. and by doing that, what you're doing is you're catching all of the ends. Um, and what you can do with this ribbon is you can kind of taper it in a little bit, fold it in a little bit if you wanted to, to sort of height to get those sort of. It's not frayed edges, but obviously you've got where you've cut it, you've got that very slight little bit of fraying, just like you would with ribbon. You know, it's just that I little see. bit there, and yeah. you just want to cover that. And you just want to have that hidden yeah so by doing that as soon as you place that over it it's going to conceal all of that and they'll all be trapped and it'll give you a nice smooth sort of finish you can see that there all right yeah so if I place that down so what I did with those ones was I actually hammered them as well just to give it a bit of texture but I'll show that a little bit later on when you're doing the hammer okay and thing all right just, is that okay. all right yeah lovely um, so then taking your wire, so this is what I was saying about you want it to be continuous. I'm actually not going to use all of that because I'm not going to be doing the whole piece. But, okay. you know, as long as you feel comfortable with, what you can do if you don't like using long pieces of 0.4 wire is have enough to be able to get you to the centre point here with the cabochon. Okay. Um, and then you can kind of do it in four sections. So you would do one half there, the second half there. And same on the other and side. And same on the other side. Okay. If you felt more comfortable doing that. Just as long as you've got points where you can wrap the wired finish which you would have because you've got the ends here and you've got like the framework here okay okay good. yeah so with this it's just a matter of placing these on and hopefully if you've got them the same sort of size you'll have the two centers of the spirals you'll be able to sort of feed the 0.4 wire through and if you have one side that will be the front and one that's the back you can not be messy with the back, but you can sort of let the wire go over the spirals a little bit more on the back um, than the front, if that it's makes sense. Yeah, it's not going to be so, uh, yeah. Um, so you're just going to put that through. So I've just threaded it through that part there. And then you just go, and because you've, and this is part of the other reason I chose the silver, was because if you've got the silver and the silver wire, the sewing blends in a lot more. Okay, I see. Whereas if I'd have done the uh, turquoise wire, you would have seen the flashes of silver going across it. Got you. So it's just to try and avoid that really as well. Okay, good tip. All right, so and again, you would just go through. If you're struggling to get the wire through, mm -hmm. the thicker pieces, take a head pin or um, the little sort of or, reamer, or, reamer yeah. thing and just, sorry, technical words, and just sort of use that to go through. Yeah. And that just widens the mesh mesh part really enough for you to then be able to feed that wire easily through okay and you would do that a couple of times around both pieces just so that it's secure don't worry if it's not 100% because you can with this piece when you come back down the other side you can sort of tidy up a little bit there if you if you needed to, you need to but okay. what you do need is to make sure it's nice and secure because that's obviously the the main part is going to hold it all hold together, it together. Okay. all right when you're happy with that and your wires at the top just here what you're going to do is just start nice and simple, feed that wire through the top. 
so that the wire is um, on the back of the piece. Mm -hmm. Take three of the little quartz. This was the funnest part for me. Mm. <laughs> Threading all of these on. Um, so I just, I'll only do one or two of these because you don't need to see me do all of them because it's pretty obvious. So you go one, two, three. Feed them down. Okay. Yeah. And then bring the wire through the front again. Yeah. So it goes back to the back. And just, you do have to use your hand a little bit to make sure that they, it sits how you want it to. But then that will sit. So if I hold that up, you can see it just sits in a sort of little arch. Yes, that's beautiful. Like that, OK? And just use your hands to make sure it's sitting exactly as you want it to sit. Fact. And the wire's at the back again, and you just repeat that. And Brilliant. that's all that bit is, OK? So you just carry that bit on, because, of course, you've got it on either side. Yeah. And those beautiful just little loop details that goes yeah. all the way around. Fab. OK. Now, what I did was, because I wasn't quite sure how I was going to... Because I'm not very good at planning my designs. I sort of sit and play and see how the des design develops, and then I'll find a quicker way that I could have done it if I'd have planned it. Yes, I know. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, of course. So, um, for me, I started setting the capuchon and then realised if I'd have planned the setting, I could have caught these little side sections in this initial sewing. Get you. With the... With, why with you the wire whilst the we're going along. Okay. But even if you don't, you can still go back and sew it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, that makes sense. When, yeah. you, when you're doing it, it does make sense. So then I took some of the turquoise wire. This is the turquoise wire you get in the kit, which is at the bottom of your screen. I think I've got about seven of those left now. Um, once everyone checks out. So do treat yourself if you want. It was over £21 off for you on a that beautiful today. kit it really is it's gorgeous um for this i use my ring mandrel but you can use anything i just wanted to get um a nice sort of size um shape similar okay. to the cabochon so the ring mandrel is ideal Perfect. for that yeah. but you know you can use any kind of mandrel marker pen or anything really okay now i've taken i've got about half of a meter mm -hmm. of wire i've got enough so that i can go around a couple of times do a bit of decoration and trim it to the length that i want rather than doing all of that and then find i haven't got yeah, enough, got enough yet. So the first piece I'm going to do, I want to be just slightly smaller than the size of the cabochon. So it just sits on the inside, so it gives it a little bit of a base. Okay. And then the second piece is going to be just slightly larger, so it sits on top okay, of the cabochon. Yeah. So I'll just bring that around. So you can do that. So all I've done is, again, find the centre yeah. um, and just wrapped it around a bit like we did with the, um, with the clasps. clasps. Okay, so if I place my stone on there, I can see that fits probably just about right. Yeah, it's just a little bit smaller than the cap. Yeah, so it's just on the inside. Okay. And then the second piece, I'm going to make a little bit bigger. So exactly the same. So I want that to sit on the top. Like, oops, let me move that for you. How many you can get so many tools out? <laughs> and then I can place that on the ribbon and then place that and know that that's going to sit just over the top. So you can see the whole point is we need one underneath and one at the top that's going to be able to sort of trap um, this piece in, OK? And what you don't want is that cabochon to have any movement, okay. um, which is why afterwards I went back with the silver wire and sort of did a little bit of weaving detail mm -hmm. just to give a little bit of interest but to secure it okay. because no one's going to feel secure even if you know it's secure if it's got that tiny bit of movement people are going to have that element of doubt Worry. and you don't want that no. okay so then you want to place these in opposite directions and I did again I hammered these just to give it a little bit more strength just the circles but you, that's optional you don't have to so I've got that one there and then you've got that one that's just going to sit on the top. OK, and if you see by doing that, all right, you've got your wires going in a nice sort of opposite direction as well. Got you. OK? Yeah. Which is going to help when you cross them over at a later point. All right? Yeah, I see. So we're going to imagine that I've sewn all the way across <laughs> here. Yeah, adding on all those little quartz. Adding on all those little quartz. And again, like I said, if you've already placed this, then you can start to sew them in. But if you don't want to and you want to get this bit done first like this, then it, it works either way. Okay. Because of the design of this on the back, it doesn't matter if you weave your wire across, it gets blended in, so mm. it's, it's not a problem. Okay, so... Just going to pop that on. And again, you're just going to catch it. 
and it won't be until the very end that that stone will be 100% secure. So don't worry if when you're doing this, the stone sort of comes out, it's not a problem, it's normal, it will happen. Okay. Okay, because until you do that sort of sewing and lock these side pieces in, it's still got that sort of movement. Movement. Okay. okay. So you only need to do one or two stitches, you just want to kind of secure it. Okay. And then again, you can bring the wire down a little bit if you want to catch the side and catch it at points. And these will blend in as well, so don't worry quite too much about these. You can see I just went across there. Don't worry too much about this though, because this is going to have the stone sat on it, so it's just to make sure it's a secure base. Okay, so it doesn't. Yeah, just, you're not really going to see it. No, it's not. It's not um, visible. So again, just pop that one through once or twice, and then you can just bring that wire through the middle gap. One thing to be careful of though, when you are sort of weaving in with the sort of rung part of the, the ribbon, yeah. um, you can see, if I hold this up, you'll see, it can pull the little sections. I see. Can you see that little tiny bit there? You yeah. can't see it too clear, if but it's that bit there. Close. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. maybe. That's only one stitch. So yeah. if you did one or two, it could really bunch it. So just try Keep and space eye. it and, and watch it. I know it, at the moment it's not too obvious, but if you did a few of them, it really starts to pull it in and open a gap up. Got you. So just to be a bit careful. Okay. Got you. I have got, do you want to do one more ribbon? Um, I'll yeah. do you another ribbon and now, just whilst we're sewing that section on, then I'll go to do the cabs when we add the cab on. Um, this is your mercury wire ribbon. Now, I know quite a few people have been asking, mercury, is it a silver? Well, it, it's got a silver back colour to it, but I kind of think of it as it's a little bit titanium oh, nice. to yeah, me. I would say more titanium. And if I show you them next to each other, it'll be easier to see. So this is your mercury that we've got the opportunity to get our hands on right now. Um, it's kind of got that tight turn. Aluminium. If you think of the mm. aluminium jump rings, mm. are they aluminium? <laughs> they are, aren't they? What? The aluminium jump rings. Yeah, we do aluminium jump rings. That's that kind of colour. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, it is, you're right. <laughs> uh, it's that gorgeous mercury colour. Let me show you the difference between this and the silver. So you can see it is quite a big difference, actually. A lot cooler on the silver, a lot cooler. Um, but this one's got that beautiful, that'd be fab for steampunk, wouldn't it, really? That kind of mixed metals detail that we've got. Quite nice for masculine pieces, actually, as well, this colour. Um, you've got 24 inches of the mercury. Again, it's 20 mil for you. You can see how we're using it here. Lots of DIs for you on it uh, on YouTube. Price point today is £14.95 for you, so get that one if you want that. You can see it's a completely different colour to the silver. And actually might be quite nice to use this and the silver together, actually. Yeah, it'd be really nice to get that sort of colour contrast. Yeah, like yeah. that. Um, so do treat yourself now, £14.95 for you. Don't forget, I've got those little cabs coming up and the mini anvils back we'll be showing you how to use this etc uh, as well later on i love that uh, that's back in for you in a bit 14.95 okay all i've done now is i've gone all the way around once on the um slightly smaller piece now i've just put the capuchon on and then i've just placed the larger piece just on the top and just going back around again and loosely catching that larger piece and as i said it's going to move the stone's going to go it's not in any way securing it but it's starting to give you a base okay so that you're then able to feed the wire through and just catch it. Don't worry too much if that stone moves about because this gets secured in in a minute. And it's just held in and you go around again. Whoops, which is fine, that, that's normal. Okay. That's not what's holding it at the moment, is it? No, it's not in any way. It's just to give you a sort of template mm -hmm. of um, how it's going to fit. So okay. don't worry if that happens because it, it's not going to make a difference. So I'm just trying to sort of secure that. Oops, that one piece there. The good thing about having the one mil in the turquoise is you can be quite sort of firm with it and move it out of the way and it doesn't make a difference. Okay, and then just that last piece caught. Okay, and then you can just bring that around. And then what I've done, now I know I've got those pieces secured, what I can do now is use these wires and just wrap it around again and really start to build a layer slightly over the stone. And that's again why it was good to choose the sort of higher domed one and really sort of bring that around so that your wires are in opposite directions and that they cross. So you still have two going in the opposite sort of cross direction now. 
So you can see just by doing that, mm -hmm. I've started to sort of, I've hidden the sort of stitched part. Yeah. So I've gone over it's that. You've neatened it up already. It's all, yeah, it's already gone. But I want it to have that kind of, so if I turn it there, hopefully you'll be able to see, I want it to have that sort of gap because that's what we're going to fill in with a little tiny bit of wire weaving a little bit later on anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but you can see that's now, straight away, that's given it a little bit more security. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I can, it's not 100%, but if I hold that like that, it's It's, it's held. holding it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's still So you see it. the little sort of gap there? Um, so that's fine. We want all of that. Okay, so if I place that back down. Once you've done that, you've then got, you would still have your wire. This is where you, you can either cut your wire, add more, or just continue. And you would then just continue with your um, sort of sewing until you reach a point here. So these parts here now, just wanted them to have a nice sort of equal um, sort of spacing. Mm -hmm. And then trim them. And again, you could have these going right to the end of the the cuff if you wanted. I just wanted it to be that sort of centre focal part. Oh, yeah. um, but this, this, this is your own sort of option. And um, what I'm doing, sorry, is I'm using the flat side of my cutters to make sure that I get a nice straight finish on my wire. Okay. So that when I do my spirals, it's just nice and you don't see any of the copper. Okay. Okay. Take my round nose pliers. And again, I'm just going to do this here. So again, it's still not at any point in any way secure, but it's got a little bit more security now Strength, yeah just create a little tiny spiral and you can just and then that can go however you want it to go okay and you mm -hmm. just place that there and then you would do the same on the other side just adding that nice little detail yeah it, this is optional but I just thought it looked pretty mm. and I wanted to make a feature of this blue wire what because it does stand out beautifully against the sort of silver tone yes yeah, fab so you can see there how you've got it like that yeah okay now what you could do if you wanted before you attach this is you could lightly hammer it okay you know you could take the anvil you could just move that down like that and then just hammer it if you wanted okay. to go gentle with it because it is colored yeah. wire but you can do that okay. We will be bringing that anvil to you and we'll show you how to use it with those clasps in a little bit as well. That's yeah. coming up in the next kind of 20 minutes. So with my wire here, what I've done is I'm just taking my, my sort of weaving wire and what I want to do is catch the cross part of these two wires okay. just, just here yeah. and that's going to help secure it. So I want that wire, if I hold it, I want it to go, just, there we go, sorry, bringing the wire up. I want it to go in the same direction as the rungs okay. um, over the cross point. Uh -huh. So I turn it around. It almost hides it actually. Doesn't yeah, so I want it to go across. I don't want it to go that way. No. I want it to go in the same direction as the rungs. Okay. It sounds really silly, but it just. It's a good point. It though, just it's went in the. It, yeah. It ties it in more. It ties it in more. And then you can just. And again, that's going to lock it now because that starts to lock these wires in place. And then when you do it on the other side, that locks those wires in place. Yeah. And then as you're sewing along, so you're still adding your stones on, and you can do this as you're going along, just bring that wire down and when you see the opportunity, quickly stitch it and bring it back up. Add it in. Okay. And then when you get here, you just, again, stitch it as you're going. And stitch it like that. And then that's ready to then add my stones on, sorry if I show it like that. So I've just caught that little section there, and then I would add more stones with the wire here. I see. So as you're going along, you're just securing it as you go along. Yeah, I see. So you're okay. finding more locations. Could we yeah. use something like this? Yeah, you could, definitely. I mean, they're really nice because they're quite, again, they're high domed. Yes, so really you, high. I was thinking that. Yeah, so they've got that depth that you could yeah. sort of almost just wrap it and catch it or do a little tiny woven section and wrap that around it Ooh. and that would hold it as well. Really holds it into place. These yeah. are absolutely stunning. We know they're going to be a sellout because the price point I think is going to blow you away but also because they're so unique and individual. These are absolutely gorgeous. They are your shell pearl round cabochons. You're getting 20. You'll get 10 in this kind of pink high shine and you'll get the matte colour of this beautiful dusky blue. Your price point today, I'm going straight in because it's going to sell out seven pounds and 95 pence that's insane even if and i you know even if you wanted you could just glue them to flat backed 
earring posts. Yeah, of course you could. They're perfect little stud, stud sizes. Perfect size or for your earrings. A ring. It's just beautiful. Perfect for rings. Perfect yeah, size perfect for rings. Perfect size for a ring. I would net them to a, to a, like I did that cabochon there. You know, I would just net them, but you could if you wanted to do a little spiral and then again just glue it if you didn't like to do a lot of complicated wire work because they are smaller. Mm. And when you do use a smaller cabochon, it is a little bit fiddlier, obviously, but having that high depth really will help with I that. I think they're beautiful. So many of these absolutely flying out. I've got decent quantity, so don't worry about that, but they are absolutely flying out. They're so unique and individual and a little bit different. I just think they're sensational and actually I love them together. You don't just have to use them individually, do you? You could sew these kind of, you know, in yeah. together almost like this, you couldn't you? You could do like a nice little pendant with three of them or, or a couple of them, couldn't you? Sort of just a little drop pendant. Little drop pendant. Or netted in together or sort of caught in together. Create shapes with them, can't yeah, you? Yeah, they're gorgeous. Together. Oh, look at that, that's cute. I just absolutely adore them. I think they're fantastic. You will be getting the size of them will be the same as, as you can see. You know, they're kind of very, very similar in size. And you are getting 10 of each. 10 of that beautiful high shine pink and 10 of that dusky um, matte blue, those frosted ones. So essentially you're getting 20 cabochons for 7 95 That is astonishing, isn't it? Also, if you use the um, lace, they'd be beautiful with the lace added in with the lace but um, for me if I was looking at them I wouldn't question that they were pearl especially the the sort of high shine yeah mm. that you know that sort of lovely sort of dusky color yeah silly, you, isn't it? If, if someone said to me these are pearl earrings I wouldn't question it I no. really wouldn't because no. they've got that that look that you just wouldn't and they're just the perfect size aren't yeah. they how much are they working out at each then a lovely Helena about it's pennies, isn't it? It's nothing much at all. It's obviously, you know, it's way less than a pound, isn't it? It's less than 50p, isn't it? 40 pence per wow. one. So essentially, even if you just glued these to earring backs, you made yourself a pair of earrings for under a pound. Yeah. But they look high quality. And they really, and they really do. They, you know, like I said, if you put that on a ring or if you had three of them netted as a, in a bit of sterling silver, I would not question that they weren't pearl. No. They're absolutely beautiful. Your names have gone off my screen, but well done to everyone who's got them so far. Probably got how many left about? Probably about 10, 15 left, that's it. Mm. So please do treat yourself to them because they are exceptional. £7.95, that's an absolute bargain. You know it is. <laughs> okay, I'm back with you, lovely. Okay, well, we're nearly done now, really. But um, what I wanted to say was I did this half. This is exactly how I did it. Um, you know, as I said, if you did this section first, had it planned so that when you got to this point, say, and you were adding your first set of so you could catch it, but it works just adding it through. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing to note, when you do the second side, so you would sew all the way along here, attach your clasp, sew all the way back down to here. Before you start securing this, start to form it as if it was a cuff, because this will change how it holds. Mm because obviously it's going to bend around your wrist. Okay. So to do that, then make sure that you've, and then set it, because then you know you've got that shape. You don't want to set it and then go like that and it pull it all out. Of course not. Okay. Um, and once you've done that, that's pretty much it with that. But what again I found was that I was still, this was secure, but it had movement. Okay. And I was thinking, it, for me, if I, you know, if I was to give it, you'd be like, oh, that, oh was that secure? Because, mm. you know, it's, it's moving. So all I did was I took my 0.4 wire, brought it back up at you know a nice point I did if it's not arguing with me and then just literally sewed like a little weave in between the gap here and it's just and we're going to do some weaving in a second project so I won't sort of go over the weaving but it's literally a selection of little sort of going through the two wires a couple of times and creating a woven effect and then what I did was just went over with my pliers and separated them out so it does look like little sections. Yeah, it does actually. That's um, so beautiful. And I went at four points again, just when there was a gap, I looked and just sort of brought the wire across just, and then it made it 100% secure. Fab. And that, that's pretty much it, really. That's yeah. a wonderful swell, B. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Well, you know I do. <laughs> um, loads of you are coming in for that show. Now, we did say we were going to mm -hmm. talk about hardening the clasp. Yeah. I have got a hammer coming up for you later on, but first off, Can I 
I borrow your hat? It's the mini anvil. It's so cute. I do have the mini I anvil. I love this product so, so much. It makes me feel really, really happy. <laughs> um, talk to me about the anvil. Now, why is this so much loved? Why did we sell out within moments the first time we had it in and we've had to reorder it and it's taken us ages? Why do people love this so, so much? What I personally love about it is the fact that obviously because it's small and it's got all those different shapes you can sort of do your more sort of smaller more intricate pieces and you can get at, at the sort of more difficult to hammer angles if that mm -hmm. makes sense yeah. you know when you're doing a piece and you just want to so say for here when I said about doing that if you had the anvil you could just place it there you've got a nice work place you can get it there nice and comfortably and still hammer it um, you're not sort of when you've got the big steel blocks, which are brilliant, mm -hmm. you know, that's going to be a little bit fiddly, it's lower down, so you've got to sort of push your, your work against your um, mat and then place it on. Yeah, but you've got loads but of you've room You've got lots here. of room there, but you can do it, you can put that in any position, so you, you can put it on the side, mm. you've got your curve, so if you, you want can to do dome it. Dome in, you've got the little... Um, sort of for rings or sort of a circular yeah. type of thing um, you, you've got so many options if you hammer to dome in that section perfect yeah. and then you can yeah put it on the side your ring section your flattened sections yeah. as well here it goes from your square to this section here which is the kind of the almost triangular mm. shape almost. Yeah, almost it's still not but it's almost got that feel to it as you can see there um, it, there's loads of you coming in for this multi buyers on it too it is such a sturdy product as always really astonishing quality isn't yeah it? it's brilliant I, I've got one and I do love the little ham uh, the little anvil I think it's brilliant you know yeah. and again it's a little bit lighter and more portable <laughs> yeah than the steel block than the steel because block it's for me bit. I travel and I bring my um you know my suitcase yeah <laughs> suitcase for one show you know yeah <laughs> I do. True. I do. True. Um, <laughs> that's a lot lighter yeah than the the block itself um and it takes up less space yeah and absolutely. it's got more options so it it's has brilliant. there's lots of different looks you can get you can get a really steep dome you can get more of a gentle almost bracelet dome actually yeah. that fits perfectly the size of my wrist yeah um lots you can lots of different sizes we could sides sorry we can use here um as well it is absolutely beautiful and actually it does have the hole point going all the way through this as well mm -hmm. now that's quite important for if you do want to do those kind of stand-up pieces that maybe need a bit of extra security yeah um, you can use that loads of you coming in for this it is your mini anvil let's get your price point in it's just eight pounds and 95 pence for you today and we'll show you exactly how mm -hmm. to use it and don't forget it is one postage and packaging what do I mean until midnight even though it is super duper heavy maybe got a hammer yeah, no problem. problem. Yeah. No problem. Um, so what I'll do quickly as I'm going to do this is I'll show you quickly how to make the clasp for the bracelet to finish it off. It Fab. takes two seconds. Oh right, sorry, this bit. Yeah, the hook. Well, I might as well. It's all in yeah, one Fab. anyway. Um, so I've used the 1.25 wire for this. Yeah. I'm going to create a tiny at the end of my pliers, the smallest point of my pliers, a tiny little loop. Okay. Yeah, and then taking my, I, I use my bail making pliers because I, you know, I've got them, but you can use anything like the orange mandrel or just the pliers of your, um, your basic toolkit. Yeah, okay. got you. And just place that around, okay, to get that shepherd hook effect. And what I wanted to point out, there's one thing I wanted to say about when you do these clasps, yeah, is that. Yeah. <laughs> you um, originally, when I do a, um, a loop, I'll just do it in this direction. So it was all in this, the, the, the loop would go in this direction. But when it sits on your wrist, yeah. it, would, um, it would stab in. So what I needed to do was create the loop to go in the opposite, in, in sort of a, um, an outer direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I actually cheated a bit and used my, my new favourites, my. One step loopers. The, the big ones. The big ones, yeah. Which you don't have to use. Um, if you're going to use them, uh, put a piece to the side mm -hmm. and then cut it. And then it, if you can see what I mean now, how it comes off at the angle. Yeah, perfectly. All right. The one that you want. Yeah. You want it to go to that angle yeah. because then that way you'll see then how that's made a difference on how it sits otherwise it would dig in yeah okay um, and that's the only reason you don't have to use your one-step looper if you don't have a one-step looper you can do it manually okay um, and then just sort of 
kick it out a little bit so you've got it so it's like that okay and it's just um it's a tiny little detail but it does make a difference in that finished piece okay and this is where this this would come brilliant you know in handy brilliantly because it is smaller the mini anvil and you can sort of hold it to the edge oh that's new oh yeah that's coming up for you in a bit you're not seeing that one before no then. Oh, I haven't got this one. Right. I yeah, love when you say it like a child. I haven't I, got this one. I haven't one. got this one. It's unfair. <laughs> <laughs> so all I'm going to do is literally... It's flattening that detail, isn't it? So, and that's done a really nice finish. You can see how smooth that looks. Gosh, that is a gorgeous finish. No scratching on no that one. No scratching whatsoever. on that one. I need that hammer. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Quite clearly. Quite clearly need that hammer. Um, and then, that, and you saw how simple that was. Nice and quick. You just hit it a couple of times. And even a small piece like that, and that's again the advantage, whereas if you had the block, you'd kind of be like that. Kind, and of, kind of, of it, tweaking yeah. it on the edge. And because yeah. this is edged like this, it's not like you can lay it because you could cool. hit that hit that bit yeah so the fact that you're able to sort of get there and comfortably hold it and get that nice um finish finish beautiful is why it's brilliant it's absolutely stunning it really is a great one and actually i know that you're really big into your sheet metal yeah. sheet at the moment yeah just thinking we're always trying to add yeah. curves and shapes to our metal yeah. sheets aren't we so if you've got any blanks maybe you've got yeah. some Plain round blanks. You've got the round blanks, you've got the heart blanks, you've got the square blanks. Yeah. Because you know, I've got them all. Yeah, she does. She really <laughs> well, does. On a mission. Why do you but think you I've got can, you can make them look different yeah. in the way that they bend and bow and catch and the light. And then you can texture them as well, see? So you've got you that sort of option to create the texture effect as well. Of course you can, because actually sometimes when we're doing it, we'll have to shape it first day around our mandrel, but then you'll want to add texture and you yeah. always have to flatten it out to reshape it. Yeah. I mean, but, but in that, you've got it there. I mean, that done. one's been textured. Um, the the bracelet the end bracelet yes, so that one's been you. textured so just to explain what we mean by textured mm. you get that kind of mottled effect and I just mm. think that looks really nice when the light hits it it's one of those that you just don't capture it properly oh you can see it quite you see good. these yeah. sections yeah so these bits here so it's not completely flat it's got that beautiful texturing effect I think it's gorgeous eight pounds and ninety five pence on the mini anvil probably got how many left approximately Oh, <laughs> 30. 30, says my producer. Um, that hammer is coming up for you in a little bit. <laughs> Stop pouting at me, okay? I know, but then you turn around like that. And I'm like, oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> it's just how I hold right. things. Um, this is coming up for you very, very soon. I'll bring that to you in our second designer inspiration because we are going to have a second designer inspiration. Oh. What are we doing? <laughs> That's nice, you the test. Yay. Um, What are we doing for the second one, please? We're going to do a nice classic wire woven cuff, um, a couple of weaves, um, mixture of different gauges of wire though with this one. So, you know, not just the, the thicker wires, but like the, the slightly finer wires as well. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Price point wise of the second kit, let's just say it's lower than you'll be expecting. Mm, I was shocked. You were shocked, mm -hmm. weren't you? It's going to be lower than you would expect. It's not the 29, 28, 27 pounds you're used to. It is going to be lower. Um, thank you so much for showing us that spell bee. As always, how's your challenge going? Oh, I've done something. Have you? You've done a ring. Oh, 10 <laughs> points. Um, we are going to be back with spellbinding very, very shortly. After the break, I've got that exquisite high end beautiful beautiful one locational zambian emerald coming up for you and much much more stay tuned see you in a little bit Join jewellery maker and specialist guest designer Louise Jacobson for our basic wirework course. This class is suitable for complete beginners who wish to learn simple wire wrapping techniques to create stunning structural designs. Louise will teach you all the essential skills to get started, including basic spirals, double connectors and much, much more. The full course includes a range of different wire gauges, a bead scoop, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet the presenters and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just 69 95 
For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. We here at Jewelry Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. Topaz is a really popular gemstone within the jewellery making trade. It's traditionally thought of as being a light blue, sky blue tone, but actually in its natural form, topaz is clear to yellow. Clear and yellow topazes are referred to as imperial topaz, whereas the sky blue varieties and also London blue topaz are heated to achieve these really desirable colours. Topaz is often um, coated as well with a metallic oxide um, or just simply metallic coatings and these can give rise to many, many different variants of mystic topaz. These give a really lovely rainbow array when light hits them. Topaz is also incredibly hard, being A on the Mo scale and also has a good RI, so again it makes it perfect for being set in jewellery. Do you have a question that you need answering? Well, did you know you can ask to speak to an accredited jewellery professional in our call centre? Trained by the GIA, you can ask us any gemological question and we'll do our best to help. We don't just sell gemstones, we know gemstones. That's why when you buy from us, you're buying with confidence. Buy your genuine gemstones from genuine accredited jewellery professionals. Hello everybody, welcome back to Designer Inspiration. If you just saw that VT beforehand that said, oh it's Fleur on Sunday, that's wrong. It is definitely Karen Crawford on Sunday. I've got Fleur tomorrow, so just so you know, it's Fleur tomorrow, not on Sunday, just to let you know. Okay, it's Designer Inspiration. My name is Rebecca Reddykin, feel free to call me Becky though, and I am joined today by someone who likes to be called Spellbinding, Glory Binding. Hello. <laughs> Hello. That was not as good as the first time. No. But you were calmer, so I kept it calmer. Okay, I see you're bouncing off each other. Yeah, you know. Gosh, that's how we roll. <laughs> uh, how are you, love? I'm good. Good, good, good. Um, second designer inspiration. Yes. Coming up in approximately half an hour or so. Mm -hmm. um, where do we need to be jewellery making wise to be able to create it? I'd probably say, um, you, if I'd probably say intermediate mm -hmm. to possibly. Uh, an advanced intermediate but okay. that being said you could take the basics and tailor it to your own needs really and there are some sim there are some simple pieces in there as well so oh, yeah. which I could quite happily talk through if somebody wanted me to brilliant okay great so a little bit of something a little bit of a step further for us on the second design inspiration I've got loads coming up for you today you already know that um, I have got some bloodstone coming up for you I have got some cabochons coming up for you and I have got this last in stock opportunity you've got a 12,000 to 1 12 million what am I talking about 12 million to 1 chance of getting your hands on this gem and we've got it for you today your Zambian emerald that's coming up for you in a little clip please stay tuned because if you want high end on something that we very rarely have in. We've got loads of Brazilian um, emerald on you at the moment, loads and loads and loads, but Zambian emerald, that that one, that one, 12 million to one chance location, um, that's coming up for you. We haven't got many of these um, in amount, but we've got a decent quantity, if that makes sense. That's coming up for you. Where are we starting, please? Let's do a bundle. On the table. Got a little bit of, ooh, 
a bundle for you here. Oh my gosh, I thought that was abalone then. I thought that was abalone. Just take a little quick look and you will probably think the same. It's gorgeous. Look, you could, if for a second then, it did, it took you, didn't it? You thought, hang on, is that abalone? No, it's not actually, it is your um, beautiful black shell. But you could be forgiven for mistaking it for that because you have got that beautiful rainbow colour look. Oh, that is so beautiful. That rainbow colouring. We haven't had abalone on in months and months uh, but we have got it here for you today look at those pinks and greens and um, uh, we haven't got it here for you today sorry but we've got something that looks very similar to it here today 16 by 12 mil on this for you it is double if I show you because that's something that I, I think it's always important to point out because you'll know if you buy shell in you know other places wherever you get it you have always got that opportunity i would say from what i've heard especially it'll happen online actually where you don't get the chance to properly look around your shell but what'll happen is on one side you'd get this gorgeous kind of um you know melting of all the rainbow colors that you'd expect but then as you spin it on the other side it'll just be pure black we don't do that here um what we do is we try and bring you the double sided shell so it's not just resin on the back you get that beautiful double effect look at that which is great because it means if you do make things like your um earrings and things you've got that interest at both sides we don't have this on often at all 16 by 12 mil on those today i've also got some more of your shell how beautifully would this one go in particular with the meadow um, ribbon that we had earlier? Because it's got all the mercury actually. Um, it's hard for you to see, but can you see how the colours on this? You've got that rainbow shell, you've got pinks, purples, greens. Again, it's got that very similar kind of diesel effect uh, that we had earlier on. Six mil on these ones today. I've also got for you your pink gentle delicate pink pink shell the thing I love about pink shell is that when you bring it when we bring it you can never be 110 percent sure what kind of tone and color we're gonna go for if that makes sense in the sense of some of them you've got like the candy floss colors haven't you but then as you spin them around it goes to more kind of bubblegum doesn't it Really, really cute. See, six mil on those ones again. Again, this is shell splendor. It would be shellfish if I didn't let you know the price. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can't help it. It just comes out. Eleven pounds and ninety-five pence is not your price point today should be that price and bear in mind for me that's taken into account any discounts that have already been made on this you know it should be more than that your price point today though is just eight pounds and 95 pence for you today if this was abalone if this was that abalone show you'd be paying an extra pound just for this strand so it's wonderful i'm actually bringing you a strand that looks very similar to abalone on a lot of these because you've got that rainbow detail that rainbow effect effect but you're also getting two strands with it all in that kind of shell um arena as it were and um, these are beautiful and just to let you know they are your shell they're not your shell pearl so this is a totally different effect you're getting here to the shell pearl it's a totally different look what do you think of in particular the kind of almost abalone looking um strands that we have here I think it's really sweet, isn't it? I think, like you say, it's something you could make really dramatic, but you could also make something really quite daytime and wearable with it. Yes, true. When I say wearable, I mean like you can wear it at any, you know, you could wear it to the office, you could wear it just out, or you could really glam it up with a bit of um, silver and, and white gemstones and get that sort of more mono monochromic, is that a word? Oh, I don't know, but I hope so. I quite like monochromic. That. I would love it if it was. It is now. I think. It is now. Okay. Yeah. Monochromic. Is it a real word? Have I just made it up? I'm yeah. Write it down. <laughs> You're going to write it down. Great. Um, <laughs> more of a monochronic look. From, yeah. Chromic. Mon <laughs> monochromic. <laughs> monochronic. Monoc monochromic. Monochromic. Mm. Oh, see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a word. Oh. Oh. We haven't made anything up. I know. I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> 
sorry, sorry. Ben just spent all that time writing down on a piece of paper. We've <laughs> just said it's it. a real word and he's just thrown it on the floor. I'm quite impressed discarded. I knew that. Yeah, good. I quite like, thought that I might have made it up. But no, no, sorry. No. No. Well, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I do know exactly what you mean. It does give that monochromic look. <laughs> mm, absolutely. Um, it doesn't sound right to me. Um, £8.95 <laughs> for you on that today. Now, lovely, lovely, <coughs> lovely ladies and gentlemen, I'm bringing to you now probably, possibly actually, one of the newest gemstones to the show. When I say one of the newest gemstones to the show, I mean um, in kind of terms of discovery. It's only been discovered in kind of the last 25 years, really. It kind of burst onto the scene. Um, relatively recently so within living memory for the vast majority of us although possibly not on this team actually i've just thought but you know what i mean um it's a gorgeous gorgeous angel like how old are you ben um 20 22 22 so not in living memory for you sweet pea. um this is your angelite that we have here for you today we hardly ever have it on when we do have it on it's extremely extremely popular do treat yourself to it as soon as you possibly can because we don't have it on often this is such a tranquil gemstone now when i say that i personally am referring to the color to me that is tranquil that is relaxing as a gemstone but the interesting thing about this is actually if you are one of those people who kind of believe in your crystal healing etc this was actually discovered um, during the harmonic uh, conference that we have that happens essentially it's a time of year well it doesn't happen yearly but it's a time whereby it's um, a group meditation let's say that takes place and it is meant to happen when it's said that all of the planets align it doesn't take place all the time but this gemstone was discovered during that time during this kind of meditation event that took place worldwide and it's it's you know when it does happen it's kind of like one of those once in a blue moon type things it's a, it's a rarity but for people who are kind of you know into the crystal healing and are into kind of your meditation and, and that, that kind of quite focused um, meditation etc this is one of those gemstones that was discovered in that very very sort of exclusive time period and that's another reason that this is still believed to be a very very tranquil gemstone it is absolutely beautiful in its form. It's totally unique. Have you got a gemstone like this in your collection that is an angelite? I doubt highly that you will. There's nothing that is similar to this in tone. It's not got the kyanite colours about it. That's much more kind of bolder and kind of uh, more statement, I suppose. It's not got the sapphire tones in it either. It's almost this very unique, individual, tranquil. It's not even a Larimar colour, actually, is it? Because it's got more of those blue. It is unique. It is individual individual loads of these are going i'm in my last chance to on this right now your price point today for hardly ever seen angel light is just 14 pounds and 95 pence and look at the length of this you have got 420 carats worth and they're 12 mil so they're beautiful statement bold bold pieces in fact spell binding can you do me a huge favor can you pass me that that bangle with the one statement gemstone in it because i think you are such a love how beautiful would one of these be as the statement gemstone in this? That would be so beautiful. Even if you wanted to do the say in the silver, that would be really gorgeous eye catch. It just goes to show you that to create a beautiful bangle piece, you don't need too much. Just one individual feature piece is going to create that gorgeous effect. Uh, this is coming up on our second designer inspiration where you do get a bead scoop with that. So if uh, it's a pink and purple kind of tone uh, bead scoop. So if you want the blue appeal and you want to create something similar to this, then maybe get this strand. 1495 I'm in my teens on this right now on this strand um, I'll just pop that on for safekeeping um, <laughs> I'm in my teens on this strand right now it is absolutely something sensational and you won't have anything like it um, in in your kind of stash um, if you haven't had angel like before 1495 really individual and unique so it's me again sorry love okay about to bring you the very very special gemstone now I keep showing this to you today because I've got a decent enough quantity, but looking back on the past history of this, if we continue to sell the amounts we have been selling in the past on this strand, which is, has, has sold out dramatically, reordered it, it took months and months and months and months and months and months and months to get in as a reorder. We have got it back in 
but it's more than likely going to be a sellout today and it is your last opportunity to get this. This is your shaded emerald. Now that already is important. It's emerald, it's one of your big four, it's regal, it's renowned, it's known. Also, it's natural. Now that, as you'll know, for me, with my big four in particular, I'm always looking for natural personally. That's just how, that's just how I roll. I like my natural big fours. That's for me very important. And a lot of the time I will talk to you when we have Emerald, I will talk to you about the fact that, you know, it is natural and what that means and how that raises the price and how if you have natural, you know, anything from the big four, you're in a really small minority of people. For this one though, I'm ignoring all of that. Even though all of that is true, I'm ignoring it because there's one thing I care about for this and that is that right there, the location. This is your Zambian Emerald. Now we all know that different gemstones will have number one pinnacle point locations, vast majority of them anyway. And for Emerald, Truly, Zambia is a go-to notorious location. Um, and I have got a slide for you to explain exactly why. This is a slide that basically depicts to you exactly why this emerald is so unique and individual. The section that we have in the center there is um, all of your facts and kind of info about this. It tells you about how, um, how far down you're having to dig to get this. It's talking about how the current open pit mine um, to kind of, to get this amount, you have 12 million grams of rough to find one gram of rough emerald. That's what I would mean when I say you've got a 12 million to one chance of getting this because you have to go through 12 million grams worth of rough and earth to find just one gram of this stunning, stunning emerald. Um, Gemfield is the company that actually kind of owns this area, owns this mine, owns this open pit, and they themselves are using around, um, around £150,000 worth a month just on diesel to fuel all of their big digging machinery. You've got some of the pictures there, you can see Steve looking into the gemstone. As you can see there, you know, Zambian Emerald is known for the fact that you have the areas of clarity within there. Um, you can also see that um, the top picture where you can see Steve Bennett in his uh, hat, you'll see that to get this emerald, he can see there around an inch in diameter, but once that's taken out, out, the weight will be no more than half a carat so even though the emerald there is an inch in diameter a large piece by the time it's been cobbed and separated etc you'll actually only get around half a carat's worth this gemstone for us is very important too because of the area in which it's working our mind that we have a lot of help there for is actually one of the areas that our sister channel equal world funds and that was the bottom picture in the bottom corner uh, that you saw in that corner there um, and that's a local school that has been built with the help of the company um, it's a really important location for us and it's important because of the charity work. Obviously, you know here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, it's really important. So it's great that you're able to get Emerald, one of your big four, in stunning, stunning form that you've already seen. For the fact that it is completely natural, it is one of the top locations of Zambia and you can buy this knowing full, full well that we are going to continue to support the location and the local schools with this. It is possibly one of your last opportunities for the next few months to get your hands on this. It is your 12 million to one gemstone, Zambian Emerald. It is sensational. Your price point today, I genuinely don't think you will expect. If you're expecting the 80 pounds mark, that means you know what you're talking about. If that's what you're expecting for this, that goes to prove to me that you know exactly what you're talking about. I, that proves to me that you understand the rarity of your, uh, of your Zambian Emerald in particular. If you're expecting the £40 price point, I would probably say you've been watching Jewelry Maker for a while and you kind of know the deals that we do. What I will say is if this was Brazilian Emerald, you'd be looking at a much lower price point than the £40. Of course you would, because it's Brazilian. It's more common in Brazil. Um, it's easier to get your hands on in Brazil. But for Zambian Emerald, you have to understand that this is an exclusive, exclusive gemstone. I've not got many left. Your price point 
is £24.95. This is one of the most sought after locations of gemstone for the emerald. When we're talking about emerald, you may well know of the Colombian emerald, which I've never even seen on this channel, I'll be honest. Um, but the fact of the matter is that you do get your Colombian emerald, which is known for its kind of vibrancy. But what I would say is your Zambian emerald like this has got that more archetypal tone. I think when you think of emerald, you'll be thinking, for me anyway, of these colours here in the section of these larger sections of the banding those to me the archetypal and um, actually with your Colombian it's not that kind of deepness it's kind of got a bit more zest to it in a way so if you want archetypal really high aspect uh, location then this is the place for you to get it that price point to me is absolutely astonishing and I can tell that you didn't expect it because as soon as that price has come in loads of people have just jumped on the phone for it 15 carats worth of your shaded emerald. This is a gemstone that we cannot take for granted. This is a gemstone that the kind of 12 million to one um, kind of quantity of this is increasing daily on a day to day basis. That is increasing. We don't know when it might be at the end of the year. It might be, you know, the fact that we've had to change our mining actually for this is what we're thinking about. We're thinking about changing our mining tactics for this, like we had to with Tanzanite, like we had to with things like your really high end Savorite garnets and that sort of thing. We had to change over a period of time our tactics to get it. We're thinking that's going to happen with this as well because it's, it's such a sought after location for this gemstone it has got that notoriety it has got that location it has got that kind of um, regality almost that's synonymous with that location and with this gemstone congratulations to everyone who's multi-bought on this because what I will genuinely bottom of my heart say to you is if the situation continues as is and we do have to change the mining process as we think we're going to have to and that has no success the price of this will double within a space of you know a short amount of time of course if that does happen we'll let you know but that's what's likely to happen if we're unable to get our hands on gemstones like this which is a, uh, a noticeable location of course the popularity goes up and up and up the yields go down and down and down and that means that the price will go up and up and up so get it whilst you can at that price point because that is the price i would expect for your brazilian emerald not for one second your Zambian emerald this is such a limited stock opportunity right now because so many of you blimey um, Hillary Pamela Janet Joy and Patricia Christine another Anne, Michelle all of you've got it every single one of you's got it you know that this is an important gem and actually I recognize quite a few of your names and I know that quite a few of you have been shopping with us for a while and perhaps you can kind of count on one hand how many different strands of Zambian emerald you've seen because we don't have it in that Often. So do get your hands on it whilst we can because at $24.95, that's the price you'd expect to pay for Brazilian Emerald, not Zambian. Treat yourself to it today. Last few of those left, £24.95 for you today. I've got some Jasper cabs for you and this is a back by popular demand. Picture Jasper. Picture Jasper is a really interesting one because it was said um, in ancient times. Uh, congratulations to everyone who got that emerald, by the way. Low on stock on that. Please stay on the phone for it. I know there's a queue if you're waiting. Um, these ones have only been seen once. They're backed by popular demand because we had hundreds of you missing out on them. They are your Picture Jasper. Picture Jasper is an interesting one because it used to be believed that when you stared into these, you could see memories from your past. Let's see if that's true for you. Take a little look. How about if I turn it that way? <gasps> face. Can anyone see the face? Eye, eye, nose, grumpy face. Oh, there's a little line above it. Smile. There's a little what? Line, line above, above it. it. Oh, that's a smile. Oh, yeah. See? Well, yeah. it's kind of, it's not, yeah, it's a kind He's of. It's kind of smiley. It's a kind of, I'm okay face. Can anyone see the animal that I can see on this one? Is it a lion? No, it's not a lion. A polar bear? No. An otter? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a platypus. <laughs> We're never going to guess it? that, was we? I think that's a platypus. Bottom, Look, bottom right. eye, eye, and there's this kind of funny nose bit. He's kind of on his back. Could be kind of a bit like a rhino. A, a rhino, a walrus. Seal. A seal. Anyone else? <laughs> Any other takers? Um, it's safe to... A horse, a horse. Yeah, yeah, I can see. You turn it to its side. <laughs> oh, oh, Pete's on board with the horse. If I turn it to its side, so, yeah. right? 
Like where? There, there. there I can see. Top right. That looks top like. Top right. Oh, there. No, it looks like a bear. Oh, it looks like a Look, <laughs> here's it its like... eye, there's its nose. It's got a big open mouth. Arr. Yeah. Arr. <laughs> Arr. Anyway, anyway, I think it's quite clear that these are inspirational <laughs> gemstones. These are going to be talking points, aren't they? <laughs> what can you say? Um, there's loads and loads of you coming in for these already. Let me show you the other few that we've got. Again, this is going to be on carat weight. Uh, that equates to me to four. You might get five and they might be a bit smaller. You might get three, they might be a bit bigger. But it equates to four for myself. This is another one that we've got. Beautiful kind of doming on the edges of this one. And then you've got another drop as well that's slightly different because it's a little bit more of a point to this one that we have here so you're getting four of them i'm getting four of them you might get three you might get five you might get six um these are backed by popular demand genuine real deal beautiful picture jasper they are double-sided as well don't forget about that so you can use both sides of these if you so wish your price point today is just 17 pounds and 95 pence for you but because these are backed by popular demand We've asked, we've requested, Helena begs borrowed, and we've been given the AOK -okay to match the launch price. Even though this is a back in stock, we have been given the AOK, -okay, so we're gonna do it. Your price point today, get it whilst you can, because this is a premier price point, you'll pay more later. It's just 14 pounds and 95 pence for you today. Get this in whilst you can, because we've been allowed to do the premier launch price again, which is fantastic, but because we've done the premier launch price again, that means that when you get this next time, you know, say you get this, you say you see it back on in, I don't know, four or five weeks, it will be that original price point so 14 pounds and 95 pence for you today get it whilst you can these beautiful cabochons that we have that picture that you can see there is a different selection that we were sent um because when we get kind of a selection sent over we'll get a few different varieties sent so you can see in that one there was a couple of ovals you might get ovals you're going to get more ones like this shape 14 pounds and 95 pence it's going to look great with gold great with your antiques bronze as well loads and loads of you coming in for this and actually the bloodstones will go quite nicely if you wanted to add a little bit of depth to them they're coming up for you later on as well um, 14.95 for you today on those back in stock okay lovely lady i'm wombling over to you <laughs> i don't know I, um, I really don't know. Um, I'm wombling on over to you um, in a moment or two. Um, what are we expecting from this designer inspiration? <laughs> Sorry, I just imagine you wombling over. I honestly, words just come in and out. <laughs> um, I just think it's an impact piece. Yes. It's really, and it's going to hopefully um, cover quite a few different techniques. So, um, yeah. That's pretty much it. There's loads and loads of you, uh, loads and loads of opportunities. I've got 100 opportunities for you on this. Now, the price point, I've already told you, you won't be expecting. Um, it's not our normal 29, 28, 27. Oh, no. It's a really low price point. I'm bringing to you a bead scoop in here. Have a little look at the types of things you may well be getting. Now, if you're not totally sure what a bead scoop is, it's basically a bit of a surprise. You'll get a selection of colours. In this one, it's your pink and purple lucky bead scoop. You'll be getting approximately 580 carats worth in yours. You can see you have the, the shell there. I've got a beautiful, huge um, amethyst there for you. I've got some of your um, twisted rose quartz as well. Um, oh, look at that one. That is exceptional, isn't it? Um, just to let you know, with your bead scoops, I know sometimes you might be thinking, oh, well, I'm only going to get one of everything. Not necessarily the case at all. Um, quite a few of these are our individual ones. But actually, for example, ones that we've got in the centre of this um, bracelet piece here in the smaller detail, I've actually got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five of these ones in this scoop. You've got lots and lots of different beautiful shapes running through. Oh, gosh. Beautiful. And um, lots of different ones running through here. It really will be a bit of a mix and match. Now, the lovely thing about that is the fact that sometimes when we're used to buying individual personal things for ourselves, we'll, we'll end up with 
quite an array of similar pieces actually won't we because notoriously we'll go for things that we like even if we're making to sell for other people you'll go for things that maybe is more to your taste and your palate and this is going to give you the opportunity to step out of that comfort zone a little bit and also you'll probably get pieces in here or gemstones in here that maybe you haven't actually worked with before and it will kind of give you a new zest a new lust for your jewelry making so it's a really nice kind of inspirational piece that you're going to be getting um, in that purple and pink collection around 580 carats worth I'm then bringing to you your wire oh they always have to be round don't they um, I'm bringing to you your wire 40 meters worth in total and the soft wire is one of them as well. That's in here for you. Let's talk about exactly what we've got. All of them are in the gold. You've got your 1.25, so a really thick, sturdy, sturdy gauge. You've got your one mil as well in there. Still really, really structural, but wonderfully malleable. I've got your 0.4 in here. Also 10 meters worth, don't forget. And lastly, but by no means leastly, I have got the genuine, real deal, gold plated copper. This is real gold plating over the top of this, and this is your beautiful copper soft wire, and it's in the 0.8. Now, we don't have the soft wire on very often at all. Um, it is a higher price point because, of course, you have a higher quantity of your copper within here, so it makes it more malleable. That's the only difference, really. It's a higher quantity of your copper which is making it more malleable, but it's still super strong. If you haven't worked with it before, I know there's been quite a few people questioning, well, it's soft, does that mean it bends out of shape? No, not at all. It's one of those that as you work with it, it work hardens as you expect. It's just a little bit more malleable. It's easier to manipulate when you're actually making with it. So it's great if you do have dexterity problems or actually if you're quite new to kind of your wire wrapping, etc. And maybe, you know, your 0.8 you've been a bit worried about. You don't need to be with this because it has got that more movement to it as well. And don't forget, you can work hard on it as well if you wish. So let's reiterate. You've got 40 meters worth of wire, 0.8 in the soft gold plated copper you've got your 1.5 you've got your 0. Point, uh, sorry your 1 mil and you've got your 4 mil you're also going to be getting a lovely bead scoop selection just under 600 carats in the purple and the pink now normally you'd expect the 29 28 27 and technically that's what you would be getting if you were to buy all of this individually not that you can get your hands on the bees group full of the money but if you could you would be paying around 29.95 uh, 25 sorry because don't forget for me you've got the 1.25 in here this is a high cost this is our 10 pound reel anyway as it is and you've got that soft copper wire as well which has got the gold plating and it's got more copper so of course this is more expensive than your average 0.8 anyway so this would normally be looking around kind of the you know 10 11 12 pound mark anyway as well let's say 10 so already you've kind of got 20 pounds worth just with these two products here so of course it's around that price we're not just going to take two pounds off are we when's the last time you saw a kit under 20 pounds on di it's right now 17 pounds and 95 pence for you i brought to you a 1995 um di once before only once have i ever in memory brought to you an under 20 pound kit on designer inspiration and this is one of them and do you know what's lovely about this di i've got to say not only the price which is exquisite but also for the fact that there's not loads and loads and loads of strands that sometimes you might like two of them but you might not actually like the other three there's lots and lots of stuff that you can really use time and time and time and time again in here loads of you coming in i'm really happy to say i've got about 100 of these so lots and lots of opportunity for you to get your hands on them and we are going to show you exactly how to use your bead scoop and that doesn't happen in a di often at all either does it but it is today 17.95 gotta check out those baskets because already i've got about 30 of them gone and the price only came on about a minute ago <laughs> um, i'm coming on over to you Hi, i'm just gonna walk over I'm and wobble no i don't even know how i would wumble <laughs> see what the does wumble. wumbling look like i don't know i don't like the wumbles they scare me <laughs> sorry okay they do they're why do wumbles scare you sweetly? because they're just a little bit they're the, the puppety ones 
Yeah. They're scary. Oh, they sweet. <laughs> oh, bless you. Um, lovely lady, you've made absolutely mm -hmm. loads with this, including the one I'm wearing. I better yep. take it off to show. Um, yeah. You made so much with this kit, and it just goes to show you that actually mm. the bee scoops come a really long way. Yeah. I mean, I've still got, I used all my point four wire up. And I've just, I had a tiny little bit of the 0.8 left, and I've still got all of these gemstones left. Um, and I purposely chose the sort of more generic round gemstones for that, all of those, mm -hmm. because you're going to get guaranteed round gemstones in here. Yes. You know, I mean, I've got a couple of flower shapes in my mix, I've got teardrops, I've got leaves. But I didn't want to do something based on a gemstone shape that you might not get in your scoop. Yes. So I deliberately kept them quite a nice neutral mix so you'd be able to do any of these with your scoop. Fab. Okay. Perfect. Um, like I said, I've got I've still got all of these. This is left over mm -hmm. from my scoop. Whoa, no way. I've separated it because I didn't want I've separated the slightly larger ones. All of this are left over. That in itself, if you bought just the leftover in most places, it would be around seventeen ninety five. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you've got beautiful little shell leaves, you've got these lovely little flowers, you've got loads. Such a massive amount, mm. really loads, loads and loads left. Um, it's fantastic. Um, just to let you know, about half my stock's already gone, actually, so do get it while mm -hmm. you can, seventeen ninety five. What are we making today? We're going to make the more complicated one. Um, as I said to you, I had a bit of a confession, didn't I? I got this kit and I just sat down. I didn't think of the theme of it. So I sat down and made the, f the, the free the rings, rings first. Yeah. And then realised I better check the, what my actual um, theme was and realised it was cuff and bangles. So, um, but I still was able to do that. And like you say, that um, one with the simple stone on, the one in the middle. The one I was wearing, It's yeah. got a really large gemstone in it. And we often get those strands of gemstones and don't really know what to do with them. We're a bit unsure because they're quite a large gemstone. And, you know, it's a little bit like, ooh. Um, but I wanted to show that how you could keep it really simple and just make a real simple bangle, 1.25 wire, um, 0.4, and it's, that's all you need. And that's Becky's size, see? It's that's perfect. Just, that's what happens when you misjudge your wire. Give it to someone you know who's got tiny wrists. I just thought you were being thoughtful, but thanks. Um, <laughs> pence is the price point on this kit for you today. I need to say that obviously it's very, very, very popular. A, because of the price point. B, because of Spellbindings makes. C, for the fact that we have got so much usable pieces in here as well. So please do treat yourself to it with that gold-plated soft wire. If you've not had the chance to use it yet, now is your opportunity. $17.95. And just to let you know, we do have that hammer coming in. We've had a few messages in it after Spellbinding was just in love with it. Yeah, I'm uh, in love with it. That's coming up for you in, the, in this next hour as well. Okay, okay so we're going to so go, go to that one. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this one I've done a little bit different. When you do cuff and bangles, often you're, I will always say use the 1.25 wire for this, you know, use that thicker wire. Um, I've actually used the 0.8 as the main structure of this. Oh, that's interesting. Um, because I've used quite a lot of it. And because it is that lovely sort of um, softer wire, you can create a lot more with it. Yes. Um, and I purposely chose that as opposed to the um, thicker wires just because I wanted to be able to have a bit of flexibility and create a design. And also I wanted to make sure my gemstones would go on it. Okay, fab. And okay. they have, obviously. And they have, yes. So, you know, with a 1mm or a 1.25, you do have that slight restriction. Worry, yeah. <coughs> where not all of your gemstones will go through. Okay, great. Not okay. with this one, though, because we've got that 0 0.8. Yeah, because we've got the 0.8. Um, okay, so I've already cut these wires off because you didn't want to watch me cut 10 lengths of uh, 0.8 wires off. How long about are we talking? Uh, about half a metre, just yeah, under. Yeah, about 50, I was going to say that. Yeah, see? Mm. It's getting good. Yeah, getting there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I've got five, I've actually cut ten pieces off. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do this bracelet in half. So we're going to do one side of the bangle and then the second side of the bangle and we're going to bring them together. Oh, brilliant. And that's how we're going to create that centre focal part. Wow. Um, but it also gives you a real nice finish on the ends. So, you know, you've, you haven't got all spirals, it, it's comfortable to wear, but it's still got the strength. Lovely. Okay? Yeah, got it. So, try to keep these as straight as you can. If you've got your nylon pliers, then, you know, um, you can sort of get rid of, rid of any kinks by just running them across it but as you do this it sort of settles down anyway okay good so what I want to do is get the ends of all of the wires so I want to find a, a sort of formula U okay and bring them all together and what I want these wires to sit next to each other like that okay I don't want them to cross they need to sit nicely next to each other nice and flat okay and then just gently form them around to bring to, to create a little loop I tend to do this a lot, don't I? Yeah, but it's so handy. <laughs> it's a know. sort of a default thing for me, I think. Yeah. So, 
bring that across like that. And again, take your pliers, flatten those pliers if you don't have nylons, and you just want to bring that across. And keep it as sort of together as you can. I'm doing this, you know, I'm doing this a little bit quicker. So. Yeah. Okay, so your wires are now crossed over in pairs. Okay, you're wearing sets. What I want to do is I've done this in fives. Um, you could do this in six if you want to be equal, but what you'll have is one single wire and then two sets of two. So I'm bringing out the single wire first, okay, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to just split them into their twos on either side. So they've got that kind of effect, okay? Okay, I see. And then what I'm going to do is the wire, the side that's got the wire, the single wire at the back of the um, set, bring it into the front okay. and across into the middle. So it's going to go across these two sets of wires and into the middle on the opposite side. And then repeat with this side. But what you have to do is just hold this one with your finger because obviously that one's not behind the piece. If you can see that there. Yeah, it's in front. It's in front. So if I hold it up like that, you'll see. I see. So you just need to hold it with your finger just to guide it. Got it. Okay? You. Yeah. So if I bring that back down. So, and again, you want them to cross. So then you're just going to repeat with the other side. So you've gone back to the, I mean, I've just gone, it doesn't matter what side. I went to the side that had the piece at the back. So okay. whichever side that is. Bring that wire, that pair of wires into the middle. Okay. Okay. Separate them out. Repeat with this side. Mm -hmm. So you're creating quite a nice sort of Celtic plait effect. That's beautiful. Okay, and then same with this pair. Pair again. Pair again. Bring it over. Now these bits will sort of um, move. There's not really much you can do about that. But later on, we're going to strengthen it with a piece of one mil wire, and I will just sort of settle it down. Brilliant. Okay, and then again this set here into the middle. So you bring them out so you still have your three pieces of wire either side, mm -hmm. but they're just going to go across into the middle. And I find that if you do three of these, it's a nice sort of bracelet length, but again, it's something that you would have to adapt depending on the size of the, um, of the bracelet that you're going to be making, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. So we'll just do that one, and then that one, so that you're back to those single wires being next. Okay. Okay. That's just how I, as I said, I found that was a nice sort of equal length. Mm. Okay. So then those pairs of wires still bring them quite sharply down. So you've got them like that. Okay. okay. Yeah. And do the same with the other set. It's a beautiful effect. It's a really nice effect. Really you can make a really nice, nice chain. It is essentially a plait, but it, it looks really complex. It's like a Celtic plait yeah, kind stunning. of thing. Okay, so you've got your two sides like that. And because I, I mean, I deliberately chose to use a single one just to give that bit of texture. Yeah, I love but it. But you don't have to. Okay. Okay. So the theory is that when we do this, mm. we've now got all these wires to do all our weaving. Now these are probably a little bit too long, to be honest, because I mean they're coming off of the macrame mat, so I don't need them to be as long as that. But this is one of those designs that it's nice to have the options. As I've often said with me, I like to be able to, have, I'd rather have a little bit um, too long a piece of wire and know that I've done everything I want to do with that and then trim it, than sort of think, oh, if I'd had that wire, was that a tiny bit, bit longer? Okay, so now what we need to do is start to just look at how we can interlock these pieces together. So this is where we're going to start picking gemstones up and choosing wires for them to go on. So we'll go for the one side again, we'll go sort of side to side and then we're going to lock them. So what you need is one gemstone that two pieces of 0.8 wire will go through. So is that going to be from one from each side? Yes, to lock them and that will be the sort of locking stone. Okay. Okay. You won't know which one it is when it's finished but it just helps to lock it all together. Okay, good tip. I should have checked that before I, um, should have checked this before I <laughs> mentioned it. But you should be able to see, I'm just going to take... Yeah, perfect. First time. There you go, see? So I can see that, I can see that, so I know that, that will be my lock-in one. Yeah. I'm not going to use it yet. No. But I know I've got it. Okay. Okay. So, I'm just going to start to add. So I'm going to go from the centre for here. Mm-hmm. And you can sort of, if you want to lock it a little bit, you can bring them around 
and lock those pieces if you felt you wanted that little bit of but as you create this it all locks in anyway okay but you can do that if you wanted to so bring that piece behind that's going to lock it and then just use these four pieces if you felt you know it's up to you this is one of those that as you're doing it you'll sort of create it yourself okay okay this is just in a way a guide so I'm going to just take a stone pop it on okay and then you can sort of do a little bit of a swirl if you want okay so I've just done a little swirl there yeah and that's just one that stone can't go anywhere now yeah. but then that's just kept that ready got you and create another one. Do you want to pick some stones? Yes, please. Go on in. I'll have some amethyst. Amethyst. Sure. Oh, can I have that one? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. That's gorgeous. Yeah, Thank that you. one would be nice. So you can just pick whatever you want yep. then. You could. Doesn't matter. I mean, it's one of those that as you start to do it and you start to build it up, you, at the moment we're just creating the foundation of it. Okay. So this is just to get an idea. I mean, you could do a spiral then add your bead on if you want. Okay. You just want to get that sort of base of it. You can see how it's starting to form. Um, and then you can do as many as you want. So I can start to use the other pairs now, bringing it across. Because I've locked that, it's not going to go anywhere. Oh, we're going red. Yeah, yeah I thought, a bit of spice. Throw it in, yeah, yeah why go not? for it. Why not? Let's go for it. Oh, look at that. So you can just place that there. And we're just going to build this. I'm just going to put a couple more on. Okay. And then, you do that with that side and then you've still got these wires here so you, you don't need to use all of these wires no. that's the other thing I'll always say don't think because you've got because you've got ten pairs of we well, got ten wires ten essentially wires, yeah. so you don't need to use all of those all of wires them. you know you can think well I'm not going to use them put them to one side and you know when you're ready you'll find a place to blend them in and, and get rid of them okay. okay so don't feel oh my goodness I've got all these lengths of wires and I've got to use them and they also know I don't need all of these to be this long. Okay, so you're gonna snip. So I'm gonna just trim them. Because when what these are gonna do when they go over to this side is they're gonna just start to blend in and lock in here. And then when I do the same on this side, they will blend in and lock in here. And then all we'll wanna do is use the excess wires to create the sort of woven sections. So if you want, I'll just add the other wires on and trim it. Yeah, love while you uh, crunch your fingers. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm all good. Um, I have got a little bit of a bundle for you now. I thought it's best for us to do it now while Spellbinding's busy so she can't kick up a fuss about this hammer again. Oh, I can. Um, oh, I can. <laughs> Tell me seriously, why do you love this hammer so much? It is your ain't out, ain't out. <laughs> Yeah. It's not really Hammer. me that's got the word. I know, yeah. You've got it today. Yeah, I right, have. Yeah. Thanks <laughs> passing it on. Um, yeah, it is. Why do you love this so much, please? I really love the sort of the dome. I mean, this is the... Um, I've got the um, older one here. Yeah. And you can see the difference in them. So I think it's brilliant if you've got that one just to have the two of them because you can see how different they both are, can't you? And that just gave up... I mean, mine's... Hang in. Nope. <laughs> it Yours is loved. much love. It is. <laughs> Could do with, yeah. It's quite a lot bigger, that one, actually, yeah, isn't it? It is. Um, but then the Damon one on that one's is bigger. more subtle. Yeah. So this is the old one, obviously. <laughs> and this is the newer They're one that we have here. here. What? No, it's <laughs> much love. No, there's nothing wrong it's with it being it older old. than this brand new one. <laughs> It's more experienced. Oh, that way. Is that better? Do you like that more? The slightly <laughs> more vintage piece. <laughs> what helping? Um, <laughs> this is beautiful. Now you've already used it. And um, yeah. how? What's the weight of it and things it's like that? It's got a really nice like? um, feel to it. And you saw the finish that it gave mm. to that. Um, Within that just class. a few, Literally. one, two, three taps, yeah. and you were done. Yeah. And it gave a really beautiful, smooth, smooth finish. Mm. I mean, obviously, you need to look after them as they sort of do get older. They, um, oh, it's all right for you to say it. <laughs> My hammer. <laughs> <laughs> it understands. Um, if you get marks and stuff on the hammer, then that will transfer onto the wire as well. And so, um, you know, to have the it's fact that... It's good to have a few, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really is. It really genuinely yeah. is. And what I will say is, if you did get the mini anvil, did we have any of that left? If you did have any of the mini anvil, you know the bottom section that we were saying would be great for your cuffs, etc. If you are into, you know, your, your bangle strips, for example, of metal, we, we have got a couple left couple It's going to go at the bottom. Um, this actually is going to be better for shaping it, this 
dome side yeah. because it's larger. That one gives you more of a texture, whereas this one could actually yeah. ease it into shape more. Yeah, that's got a larger surface area, so it's going to create a different effect. This one's, again, being that bit smaller gives that more pitted, pitted effect. Pitted effect, yeah. Whereas that's going to kind of help shape it and dome it, yeah. isn't it? So this would be great with that mini anvil if you do want to create the cuff style pieces with that mini anvil, which is $8.95 at the bottom of your screen. So this is coming at you today, but not just that. You've got the steel block to go with it as well. And you've got wire. You've got your 0.4 and, uh, and that's in the beautiful, deep, rich blue. And I've got your orange as well, which is your 0.42. Um, absolutely loads and loads of goodies for you here. What I will say is the steel block is important. If you've not bought from us before, the steel block's important because you need that power to play back. But what I would also say is, if you already have a steel block and you think, oh, I really actually want this uh, bundle, but what's the point in getting another steel block? Well, just like with the hammer, actually, isn't it? Don't judge it and don't upset it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Mine may have been used as a coffee mug as well. <laughs> oh, wow. Coaster as well. That is, you've been using that as a coaster. <laughs> but this is a much loved one, isn't it? <laughs> that's, that's nice, that. As you can see, <laughs> but it, it, <laughs> it travels with me as well, all right. Judging. <laughs> um, no, but you know, even running my finger on it, I can feel that that's yeah. pitted. And if I and did will... want to. <laughs> People are telling me not to touch it. <laughs> Don't touch it, it's horrible. Don't upset uh, it. It's not me, I'm just repeating. Um, but I can even feel that there's pitting yeah. in this and if I was to work sheet metal onto it and say I yeah, wanted would, to work hard on it, it would reflect and it would give that pit yeah. in my in my pieces, which obviously I wouldn't want. Um, so, you know, you can always do with a new one. Use one for brand spanking new, maybe just use one for your simple things like your yeah, flattening to be or honest, one for your texture and stamping maybe. That one travels with me, I've got one at home as well. So okay. I've got one that's always in my travel case, which and is why one. I was able to go and get it out of my bag right. and then I have got one that's at home as well so you know this one's just been battered about a little bit yeah. and obviously if you do just want to use one as a coaster then you obviously <laughs> can too um your price point today for all of this should be that's already a great price point should be 1980 you know i said to you if you're thinking well i've already got one of these what's the point and i've just said well you know there is a point there is much use well actually even if you've already got three of these you may as well still get it because all of this is just 9.95 for you today you'd be chuffed just to spend that on the hammer actually wouldn't you i've spent i've i, I know i've said this lots of times before but my very first hammer was um nearly twice the price of that on the hammer on its own just by itself yeah. so you're getting yourself a real bargain here today 20 meters worth of wire with your block and your hammer as well just 9.95 for you today okay lovely lady i'm back with you okay so all i've done is i've just gone on and added stones on the other side yeah with those loops that you did earlier with, uh, yeah exactly the same um, and now what i'm going to do is take that sort of key stone that's going to lock them both together and I've, what I've done is I've just brought a wire into the middle and on both sides. Mm -hmm. And again, you can trim these wires. I mean, I've got mine probably far too long, so I'm going to just trim these. Snipping them down. Sorry. Still keeping sort of, um, you know, you've got 0.8 wire here, so you've got nice little links, clasps, earring findings, everything. So don't yeah, waste it, you know. Jump rings as well, couldn't you? Yeah, jump rings. Mm. So again, I'm going to find that. So you would have trimmed these a little tiny bit. Okay, and then you've got the two center pieces, mm -hmm. which we're going to use as the locking. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so pop that got one you. on there, pop this one on here, and just bring them both through. This is about the fiddliest part of this because when you bring them both together, you're obviously going to have all these wires sort of coming together, yeah. and then it's a matter of right, they need to sort of find homes for each other. So use your pliers if it's being a bit fiddly. There we go. Ah, I see, pulling them so together. So you can see, you're pulling that together, yeah. and you know, you want to get, so you don't want this focal part to be too sort of big otherwise you'll end up with a massive giant bracelet so you do need to make sure that you're measuring this as you're going along and getting a sort of an idea of the, the um, overall size of it otherwise you'll end up with um, you know like I said a bracelet that's not going to fit yeah okay 
So I know at the moment it's just looking like a big wire mess, I get, but it's one of those that as it, as it forms, Okay, so what you want to do now at this point is start to tidy it up because obviously there's far too much going on and you need to be able to sort of work out what's going on. Yeah. So what you want to do is any wire that you know has got a stone on it, yeah. bring it over to the other side, find a gap, mm -hmm. which is the other beauty of having this type of um, braided um, band. You, your wire will go through nicely. That's a good tip. And bring it back up and then you can just add another stone if you want to to start to build it up this is how you can start to build up the center part of it okay okay and then wrap that my stones are trying to do a runner now and then when you're happy with that you can sort of spiral the the end in mm -hmm. now don't worry about I mean often I say about having spirals on the front there's that wrist that they could pick up but we're going to be doing some weaving sections which are going to lay over those spirals as well okay so that's going to and, and again when you're doing your woven sections if you see a little loose spiral here you just take that weaving wire just catch it and tie it and in tie so it don't in. worry too much at this stage because again it's going to be hidden it's a bit more sort of a foundation okay, okay. yeah so you just keep going and adding these in like this I'm just going to do it super quick. Lots of you have come in for the um, XAGC93 at 9.95. Um, please do check out those baskets because I've got about 30 in there by the looks of things at this moment in time. And the mini anvil is at the bottom of your screen, eight pounds and ninety-five pence for you today. And um, I think I've got a handful or two of that kit left. We did start off with a hundred, but we were heading towards the last chance saloon, probably because it was less than twenty pounds for an entire kit. It was just seventeen ninety-five. That's coming in at the bottom of your screen right now. Okay, so this is one that, as you're doing it, you can sort of start to form the shape of it as you're going along, and you can see it forming and again with this wire here so the longer wires I'm keeping out of the way and these wires here you can just kind of bring that in and where I've got a little loop here I can bring that wire down through that loop and that again will pin that and secure it okay mm -hmm. so you can sort of form that so we'll just imagine I've gotten rid of all these ends mm -hmm get rid of some of these beads because they're all going to try and run away okay so what you want is to have a couple of sets of wires left okay so once you've taken your time to finish all of that mm -hmm. you want to make sure I mean, you can wrap around a stone if you want so there I've got that stone the excess wire I can just wrap around that stone there like that and then bring it over to this side and sort of lock it and that will give a bit of a feature to the stone as I well see. sort That's of make it look like it's set mm. okay try and make sure all your finishing's done to the front of the piece so that then obviously any edges will be at the front and get hidden if I just quickly finish these a minute and get rid of these ends it's just um, a nice base to show how you then form the sort of woven detail sections sorry So you've got a lot of wires obviously to get rid of. But what you want at the end are some sets of wires. You want about two or three wires on each side. Okay. So on that one I've got three and I've got three. On this one I've got two here and three here. Alright, so all of these would just be cut and gotten rid of or spiraled and sort of blended in. So when, as soon as you've taken the time to do that, you'll end up with that, which is now looking a lot more manageable. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. it, it's one of those that when you put it all together, you think, oh my goodness, that's loads of it's wires. But, but it's not, it's taking the time. I mean, I'll, I'll just mm. trim those down, but you would just lock them, do little spirals and make sure that um, it's all sort of finished to the front and locked in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then you've got your spare wires, be able to start creating the, um, woven detail I in see. with it now wonderful so before we start on the woven detail mm -hmm. I want to let people know about how they can get a little bit of spellbinding in their house oh, oh Helen has just gone oh I'd love for that Aww. Aww. that's because I said I'd make her a ring yeah probably um this is your cuffs and bangles DVD now for people who haven't got this yet mm -hmm. 
talk to me about it, please. Um, well, it's, it's probably one of my favourite ones to do, that one, actually. Um, it's just got about five to six different um, types of bangles, really, and cuffs. You know, we've got a features cuff, which is that one there. Yeah. And that's taken the whole thing is completely made out of wire. There's no frames used. You make the whole lot yourself, and you get that real sort of statement piece. But then there's some more sort of simpler, um, the sort of Celtic plaited version, which is nice and classic. Um, it's just got a nice variety of different projects, really. A bit of weaving in there, a bit of everything. Well, hopefully uh, that's what I tried to do. Yeah, it is. It's a little bit of something for everyone in there. And they are techniques that actually will continue on through a few different pieces, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah, you can adapt them into many sort of different designs and ideas. Absolutely. Get a little bit of inspiration that you can use time and time and time again with lovely spell binding. This, uh, you have got the wonderful product. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you look so different on that, don't you? And I, for one, look particularly very different. <laughs> this is your Cuffs and Bangles DVD price point today. It's just 4 95 for you. We've had a text in actually about this. I have this wonderful, there I am, oh. <laughs> I have this wonderful DVD, it is very inspirational oh. with some amazing projects and it's very easy to follow Laura's instructions, that's from Carol in Great oh, Manchester. Thank you, I'm glad you, you like it. Oh good Carol, I'm glad you enjoy it as well because it's nice to know that isn't yeah, it? Yeah it is and it's nice to know that you know people can follow them, the designs and, and you know recreate them. Mm, absolutely. Four ninety five for you today. Lots of different projects on there. When are we doing a DVD together? Oh, I don't know. Um, I have, think I'm doing one this month. Are you? I'll have a word. What you have about? a word. What's yours about? What's yours DVD about? Ah. Are you allowed to say? I'm not sure. Do you know? Mm, ish. <laughs> ish. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I think so, I've just got to confirm it with uh, Laura. Oh, okay, yeah. keep your eyes peeled for that then. Okie okay, pokey, let's continue. Okay. So now, even with me doing that sort of quite quick and sort of just not even finishing it properly, you can start to see how it's coming together, coming together mm -hmm. okay? So again, this is up to you, but the reason we didn't cut these wires at all is because I wanted to have those options to be able to, to sort of um, finish it nicely. Okay. So, I'm just give it that edge. Yeah. So, this is where you can start taking your wires and working in either pairs or you can sort of think how's this going to, and this is, a lot of this is about looking at the, um, Sorry, well, <laughs> you did quite well actually. Stuff. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing things. She always does. Yeah, can't help it. Um, they're a gorgeous pair, is that on purpose? Well, no. <laughs> but look how well they go I together. Know. I've got to say. And the ring is adjustable as well. Perfect. Isn't that a gorgeous statement? Really beautiful statement. Okay, so I'll just get the point for a while. I thought I got some out. Didn't. Okay. Apologize. Don't forget, you do get forty meters worth of your wiring that kit, which is uh, we've still got a handful available. Uh, so do have a little look out for that if you want them. Okay. So this is where you start to take the point four wire. Now normally I would use a one mil wire when I weave with 0.4 but okay. you can as you can see quite easily weave with this wire. Yeah. Your wires may bend a tiny little bit more well it'd be you know whereas if you were using a one mil wire they'd have a bit more strength and stability but that doesn't really matter with this design because you're going to be able to fold it and manipulate it so it's quite helpful for this. Oh, that's good. And if it does go slightly wonky it doesn't matter because it just blends in with the design. With a piece. Now I had a couple of pearls in mine Look and they still hang out. Mm. And they still have sort of the odd one or two there, um, which won't go on the 0.8 wire, but what they will do is go on the 0.4. So you'll see a section on that there where I actually just attach the pearl and incorporate it into the weave. So you're still able to get those sort of finer gemstones into the design. You just have to put them on the weaving wire, not mm. the, the base wires. Good tip. Okay. So. If this is again, like I said, looking at it and thinking, right, where these wires go? I brought a wire from up here down to here because I felt it, it fitted nicer here. And it's about looking at them and thinking, well, that's got a nicer sort of, they sit together nicer. Mm -hmm. um, and you can sort of do the same here. Just play about, get your pairs so that you're happy with them. And then just, we're going to start a weave. So this is a nice, simple sort of basket weave. I'm not sure, I'm never 100% sure. Some people say it's a basket weave, some will say it's something else, but it's just what I use for the woven bale. Okay. So what I've got is a little tail, 
which I'm just going to hold against the band of the bracelet. Try to make sure your tools are out of the way because it will get wrapped up. I always do this. Okay, so the wires are going out slightly into sort of a V shape, and that's fine because that's just going to sort of open up as it goes along and again add a bit of texture. And then I'm just going to, you can if you want, just kick out the um, outside wires just so that you can see them quite clearly. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to wrap around once, twice, and then back over and <laughs> behind and into the middle. Um, go around one, two times, and then bring it across, and then it's going to go over this middle one here. Okay. Okay, so wrap it around one, two, and then behind the middle wire. Yeah. And then you just can, you just repeat this. Now you'll see as I'm doing this that the wires are bending and moving about quite a lot, which they will because it is a finer wire. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can wrap around these base wires as many times as you want. I've just chosen to do it sort of three times. You can do it five times or whatever you want really. Okay. It just gives a bit of a different, different look. look. Okay. So as the weave starts to build up, you'll you'll find you'll be able to start to hold the weave and then that will give you more stability in these wires. Okay, yeah. Um, but you need to sort of let it build a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then you just keep going. And you can see, so they will move about and that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. And you do that whole section, which I'm not gonna do the whole section, nope. but you can see how that builds up. Really quite quickly. Quickly. And then this is what, as you're building it, start to sort of place it and you can do this in sections so you can think right okay <laughs> Pearl does not want to stay there does it no, <laughs> it's not having it. any of it <laughs> right and so this is where you can start <laughs> to think where's this going to go am we going to place it across here or am I going to have it sort of wrapping around here and you can do all of this with the wires woven because you've got the point eight you're able to manipulate it a little bit more and this is where you'll get that splash of detail so if that was woven that would go across there and then you could twist the weave. So mm. you could then twist it like that and bring it across there. And all of that would be woven. So you would have that going along like that and sort of twisted. And as you got to here, what you could do thinking, I don't know, leave about a meter of wire, remove it from the reel. And this is where you can start to, if you wanted to secure it, catch it through the sort of framework. Okay. And then as you were doing that, you would just catch that and then that pulls that bit together. See. Okay. And you can just see it just so there. It at the and same that locks time. it and then you can you can change your weave if you want to. So you can think, okay, I'm just gonna change that into a two wire weave. Get rid of that middle wire. And just remove that down there. Bring it through. And I'm just bringing it through some loops to secure it. Mm -hmm. That can then sort of do something different you would then just convert it straight to a single uh, two wire weave. So you go one, two, three, and then you would just start weaving that section there and changing it as you go along. And as you do that, you can sort of, this will create itself as you go along. And when you're ready to sort of finish the design, you can either do a little spiral and lock it in, or you can almost just kind of hook it around one of the wires. You'll be able to just, if you cut it, I'll just show you what I mean. So this wire here, say, that I was going to um, finish it, I would just take around those pliers and just hook it and almost wrap it around that wire there. I see. And you can see it just there. Just, yeah. But that's secure. There's no sharp edges. It's not visible. No. But it's gotten rid of it for me. And you can do that with a couple. If I did that, with this set of wires mm -hmm. that might be woven would go over it Got and you. then that's going to hide it as well so you can keep going as you go along and as you say you might find that actually I don't need all these sets of wires in which case just bring a wire say I didn't want that one I could just bring it to the back of the piece bring it through and finish it so there's you know it's it's one of those that builds itself um, as it goes along and what I find is you end up with one side that's quite wove, like weave happy mm -hmm. and heavy then the other side is a bit bare so you just have to sort of balance it out a little bit okay and then the last little thing that I did after I did all of that so I'm just gonna sort of 
cut that, get these all out of the way. So you can kind of see how it would create itself. And all I've done is different layers of the same weave, but just with different numbers. So five along one wire and then down to the other side. And just literally, I, I think I've coiled little sections as well as I was going. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we're both looking over there. there. I'm so comfortable, I've got it. Um, you'll see that there's little sections where I just carried on and um, coiled it and then found another point and then sort of picked up a weave. So okay. you can do whatever you want there. But when I did this, I found it was still not 100% um, the strength I wanted to be a bangle to be held. So I wanted to incorporate the one mil wire. To give it a little bit To of give extra. it a little bit of extra strength. So all I did was take one piece mm. of one mil wire. Where you're gonna, and I'm going to repeat this for both sides. So I'll only show it on one side. Okay. Okay, so you'll take one piece again about just over, just under half a metre. Yeah, probably about 45 centimetres. Exactly the same as we did initially, create that sort of loop. Okay. Yeah. What you want to do is the loops here, feed it through. So you go from the back of the piece and feed it through. And then this will work with this flat. Oops. Sorry. Pulling those through. Yeah. Just to let you know, if you're loving this design, but actually you're one of those people who's like, I don't know about the gemstones, I like a bit more of uniformity. I have got a strand coming up for you in a bit that you'll be able to create this design, but it's all the same gemstone with graduation. So, and it's going to add something special. So do stay tuned, that's coming up in a minute. Okay, sorry, you go from the, the, the front of the, de the design, so that the wires are then at the back of the design. Okay. And you've got that, and you just let it overlap very slightly. Mm hmm. Um, you could hammer that before you um, did the rest, so okay. quickly hammer that if you wanted to. Yeah. And then just bring the wire across the front, the wires across the front, bring it down behind the back of the piece mm -hmm. and behind the back of the piece. So all you've done, if I show you. So front, front, back, back. Yeah, so it's there. Uh, yeah. And you can't really see the thicker pieces, so there's one side. Yeah, got you. So it's gone across the, the front top. and then and back. underneath. Yep, yeah. and the same on the other side. And then blend it in to the actual work itself a couple of times to add a bit of strength and then trim that and do a little spiral or something like that and then repeat mm. on the other side and just doing that one little extra piece has just added a, a lot if you look at the difference on this side it's much more flexible whereas on this it's more more sturdy straight away more sturdier really good tip and it melts in so so nicely yeah, you wouldn't know that it was done and again it just gives that little bit of design i love that um i have got another um strand here that like i said if baby people love bead scoops but they don't know about the randomness of mm -hmm. this and actually they like the idea of using different size gemstones but you want the same look what do you think about that that's amazing do you love that mm, i do love that really good quality isn't i want it? that <laughs> <laughs> Labradorite. Astonishing, astonishing, astonishing quality Labradorite. This is going to be perfect for this design, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's ideal because, you know, you've got that variety of size. Yeah. Um, and if you find that you've got a stone that won't go through two pieces, it's not the end of the world. Mm. You can see how we've locked it all together. So it's not the end of the world if you don't have that. Yeah. Um, you could just work around it. Or even you could just use one different stone in the middle, have it Labradorite, and then just have one different locking stone yeah. in the centre. Yeah. Actually, though, cause considering the size of the drill hole on these, on some of them, you know, you might be able to double lock in if you wanted to. They are beautiful, aren't they? The quality is astonishing. We've talked about the graduation, so let's see it. You've got all the way at the end here. Even though they're smaller, they've still got that impact, that sparkle. These are your five mil. And then right the way into the center, you've got the larger ones, and you're up to around a nine mil on those. So it's going to give that beautiful look. Yeah, yeah, it's going to look amazing. And again, that, that stone will go with any color metal. metal. So even if you've got the first kit, you would have the silver, silver. look lovely. Looks lovely with the, the gold. Really, yeah, it would look really quite pretty with copper. Copper, of course it would. <laughs> um, you have got a stunning, stunning quality strand here. And actually, what I will say is, the quality of this is so impeccable that you can even see it at home 
in this mm. position. Now, this desk notoriously is worse than that desk for showing off labradorescent because there's so many more lights in this area. So, the fact that you can even see that much in the worst spot in the entire studio to show labradorescence goes to show the quality of it. It really does. Your price point today has to be more than you generally expect because the quality is there. Your price point. £11.95 pence for you today. I mean, like you say, the fact, I was exactly thinking that when, it, when you were showing it and you could see that colour bouncing off of it. You just don't see that on screen. You just don't. So to, have, to be able to see that, and that's not even half of it of what we can actually see stood here in this apparently rubbish spot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, With my the... rubbish hammer and my rubbish block. At no point, well, stop putting words into my mouth. <laughs> 9.95 is the actual price today. We have to honour the last price. Um, and it's 9.95 for you. What do you think of that for <laughs> this quality? It really is amazing. It really is. isn't it? It's beautiful. You know, I would put that quality with my sterling silver wire quite happily and make a beautiful high-end piece of jewellery. Really can, can't yeah. you? Really, really high end. And this is quite an interesting question. Just let me know, you know, how you feel about it. Obviously, this is a 995 strand. Now I've brought numerous 995 strands of, of Labradorite in the past that hasn't had this much Labradorescence. When you're dealing with same price point on strands, 995 in this case, but different qual quality, how is that gonna reflect on pieces if we are selling them on? Will that increase the price slightly or possibly people's attention to it in a way? Well, it's definitely going to draw the, your eye to it, isn't it? If you had a pair, even if you, I would just do a simple pair of earrings, just drops, mm. you know, nice and open. So people could see the colour bouncing off of it because that's all you would need and they would be able to see it or a ring. Um, and it's going to get, like you say, it's going to get people's eye and yeah, you would charge accordingly. Yeah, you absolutely. Know? And you have to take into account what you would put it with. For me, I would put that as a special strand. So I would put that with something like a bit more higher end, which yeah. would then bring the whole piece of it up, price of it up Again. anyway. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. 9.95, lots of you coming in for this high end, beautiful quality Labradorite. It is faceted, so you do get that double mm. sparkle effect for it there. Um, we are going to have a little look at just all of your pieces pieces very very briefly uh, just because we will go to a break in a moment or two this um, ring I love adjustable ring yeah and again that's really simple that's the weave that we d I showed you um, just with two wires um, and then with the excess um, ends of the wires I just put gemstones on it and I, those were gemstones that I got actually on the one mil wire uh, 1.25 even oh wowzers I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 1.25 because wow. I think I didn't realise I had the one mil. <laughs> you know, I already made a load of stuff and I was like, oh, there's one <laughs> mil. One just put it to one side, I didn't realise. Um, so you can see that they went on that quite happily. I love this design as well and it's similar ish it to is. your first piece. <laughs> oh, look, isn't it? <laughs> well, I thought it was too. The piece you're wearing. Yeah, the piece I'm wearing. Yeah, of course, the piece you've adorned yourself with. I've obviously learned from you. Yes. <laughs> How have you done this one? Um, that's just three pieces of wire. Uh, again, 1.25. Um, and I've actually wrapped that. I think I wrapped that with the 0.8 wire. So it's a really solid, sturdy piece. Mm. Um, I think at that point I'd run out of um, 0.4. Mm. I'd wave in so much. Um, and then just again, all those gemstones have gone on the um, wire quite happily, mm. spiralled, swirled and hammered. And that's literally all it is. I love this one as a pairing, as a little duo. Yeah. They're beautiful, aren't they? Really, really pretty. Gorgeous pairing there. This is the one that I showed you straight away. And then look at that ring. What a high-end appeal ring that is. What was your inspiration behind this one? I literally, I just wanted to do a nice sort of framed woven ring. I just wanted mm. to really make those stones stand out. Because a lot of the time I often say, for me, bead scoops are brilliant for me. I love having those random mix of beads. I love the fact that I've got a, a variety of beads. And a lot of jewelry I make is with just one or two stones. Mm. So I wanted to be able to show that you can all of this has been achieved with one or two stones um, and, and you don't have to do a lot mm. but you still get that high impact and you still have loads left and I just really wanted to show that stone off really and do something a bit different and just wrap around it yeah and know? it is a bit different it's beautiful and lastly but by knowing it's leafly perfect for the anvil in fact because we have work hard into this but look how simple I'm gonna have to put it on sorry <laughs> I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to I'm gonna swap fingers oh. look at that yeah and again that's adjustable mm. Um, and it was just, I was just playing about with shapes and 
again, I've, I've used the sort of more pearl stones for those ones um, and added them on with a the finer wire. Yeah. To get that sort of bit more detail. I just like the little heart. I thought it was cute. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, good for beginners. Very easy. It's one of those, what I would recommend is just get this wire and because it is, um, it's so soft and easy to use, mm. just sit and play about, make some different shapes, hammer it, you know, see what happens. Enjoy, Enjoy it. You know, you, I mean, I've done all of that and I've still got all of that 1.25 wire. The only one I ran out of was a 0.4, but to be fair, I've done a lot You've of used weaving. A lot. Yeah. In, I've done two woven rings. Yeah, of course, using it. I used this. it on that bracelet as well over there and I used it in that one. So, yeah. you know, it went a long way. Went a long way. And we have I've got one or two of that kit left that's slight exaggeration probably more like 15 left of that kit at the bottom 17.95 thank you Spelby for okay. those challenge um I've done one more little thing oh you've done another bit little oh hello my little pea in a pod oh, I can't, I can't wait. <laughs> um after the break we are bringing to you some stunning pieces Something that I wasn't 110% sure we were able to get, but we have managed it. It is your stunning, exclusive pink spinel. I've also got plenty of chain for you, as well as much, much more. So stay exactly where you are. We'll be back in a bit. bird catches the worm don't miss out on your chance to grab our amazing early bird offers at 9 a.m. on weekday mornings catch them while you can join resident designer Sheila for our bridal headwear for beginners DVD Sheila will guide you through an array of beautiful bridal designs including a pearl tiara the star hair comb a twisted spiral tiara and much more this DVD is packed full of inspiration and helpful hints and tips. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. Uh, today's course has been really good. I've been on the micro macrame course with Deb Rudge, um, and we've been doing quite a lot of knotting techniques um, and bringing them together to make um, a little small owl. And then we're currently working on a uh, free form necklace or bracelet, which is really good because there's no rules. It's been a really, really good day. Um, you get an awful lot from it just in terms of being able to use your own imagination to transfer it into the piece that you're making and it's, it's just been a really good day, yeah. Do you have a question that you need answering? Well, did you know you can ask to speak to an accredited jewellery professional in our call centre? Trained by the GIA, you can ask us any gemological question and we'll do our best to help. We don't just sell gemstones, we know gemstones. That's why when you buy from us, you're buying with confidence. Buy your genuine gemstones from genuine accredited jewellery professionals. If you miss a Jewellery Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewellery Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker.
welcome back everyone to Design Inspiration. It's Friday afternoon and the weekend officially starts here because we have got so many treats for you. We've also got spellbinding. Hello. Oh good, oh, yeah. mirroring again, look at that, yeah, that is good. Yeah. Maybe if, next time, next time if I start doing like accents you'll inherently copy me too. I'll try that in rubbish at accents. What about if I was, did like a Welsh accent, can you do Welsh? Not really. Okay. I'm going to try rubbish. that next time. <laughs> I'm going to try that one next time, definitely. Um, we have got Spellby with us. Um, you have got some beautiful, beautiful pieces. Um, you've made some beautiful pieces throughout the show today. We've had loads of messages in. Thanks for sending those in. Um, challenge coming along all right. Done yeah, two pieces. I know. I'm quite shocked to myself. I'm really normally well going, yes, it's brilliant, and not done anything. So that's progress. Yeah, I'm, I've seen it. You've got proof that you've done <laughs> it this got time. Proof. Um, I've got lots and lots coming up for you today. Let's get started with a bundle. This is astonishing it's astonishing because the quality of this garnet is immiscible the location of this is India the look of this and appeal would suggest to me that this is the Rajasthani garnet. We cannot guarantee that, but I would say that checklist wise, this is ticking those boxes to suggest to me that it, this is the Rajasthani garnet. When I say your Rajasthani garnet, I'm talking about the warmest of garnet colors. I'm talking about a real summer point of excellence when it comes to your location. The reason I'm suggesting that is, A, I already know this is Indian because I can see it's, it's there at the bottom of my screen. Um, did I do A? Yeah. B, um, the fact that you've got such an exceptional clarity on this as well, which is a bit of a kind of suggestion to that fact that it could be Rajasthani also. Another one is the warmth of the colour throughout this. Um, when you're seeing Rajasthani garnet, you are expecting that real deep richness, that um, almost port light like appeal, I suppose, in a sense, almost, almost, almost. Um, another reason that I would suggest it's that is for the fact that you have such a lovely, lovely um, saturation running through it as well. So all of those things, the saturation, the tone and the clarity with the location, in fact, on board, all of those four things suggest to me that this would be your Rajasthani garnet, which we all know is serious location that's that's like we were saying with the zambian emerald before it's kind of a go-to location if you're looking for warmth and clarity i've got this beautiful strand here but it is a double trouble so i've actually got two strands they are different strands you've got both of them are that beautiful beautiful garnet and you have got your irregular plain drops four by two by nine by three and then you've also got the graduated plain drops those are slightly smaller in size four by two to eight by three beautiful jammy kind of like look to these i suppose um it is a beautiful pairing it really really is your price point today should be should be your price point today is going to be going down let's see strands for you at just seven pounds and 95 pence for you if i hold them like this where's my ruler of truth all in all excluding the tassels i'm taking them out of it i've got about 30 60 about 70 centimetres worth of genuine gemstones. That's over a metre's worth of genuine gemstones. And don't forget, there is no spaces on this one at all. And even these ones have only got tiny spaces on. So even then taking all of that into account, that is a wonderful amount of gemstones at just seven pounds and 95 pence. Spellbinding, what do you think of garnet like this? I think it's really lovely because you can really get to see the colour shine through mm. um, because of the way that it's drilled. You get to see the light come through and 
appreciate it really because the problem with garlic is you don't always see it unless you're seeing it with, with the naked eye when you show it up like that you, you just can't see the true beauty of the colour do you know what I mean? yes I know exactly what you mean lots of you coming in for this well done to everybody £7.95 for you you double trouble garnet well done everyone plenty of you coming in for that okay where to? oh of course pearls Really nice pink. Really. Really kind of fun pink, I suppose. Perfect for bridesmaids. Almost too perfect. It's kind of nail on the head for a bridesmaid, isn't it? Or a flower girl. Um, I'm also quite liking the idea of this for, for things like your pearls, actually. It'd be gorgeous. What do you think, Spellbinding? <laughs> oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I think of like a little, like you say, a little flower girl or like a little hair comb. Yeah. You know, I know that my daughter would love that because that's definitely her girly and bright pink it's not bright pink no it's no, but it's, it's, it's very pinky i described it as fun pink i can't yeah. really think of anything it's like a else bubble candy floss kind of candy pink. floss pink because it's it's pink yeah. but it's it's not like the bright bright pink I yeah can't stop no. it now no i know what <laughs> you're talking to yourself i know exactly <laughs> what you mean it is baby pink it's described as and i'm, I'm sort of on board with that and um, these are your baroque style cultured pearls so when we talk about that we talk about the style of these and the appeal of these and the shape of these they are six by eight mil i know we've seen plenty of your pearls recently but what i will say is we haven't got that many because we got such a big amount of them at our last purchase we have actually got our own buyers are heading off to india i think it's next week is it this week or next week to get us some more goodies but we are kind of coming to the end of our collection of the pearls because they've been oh so popular and don't forget you have voted it your number one organic of 2014 so they have been extremely popular so i will say get them whilst you can especially when they're a tiny tiny price point just six pounds and 95 pence for you today i know that we're getting used to seeing the price like this of pearls let's be completely honest with each other we've seen quite a few pearls recently and we are getting genuinely used to this 6.95 and i would say if you even think for a moment about the price of pearls in other locations the price of pearls you would have expected before you found jewelry maker or before we started getting such great quantities in at that price point because of course power of purchase and just remind yourself for the price you would normally expect because the last thing we want to do is get used to a price point and then get so used to it that actually when we see it we ignore it and then actually when we do see it and we don't ignore it and we buy it and we make something with it to sell we're actually marking ourselves down because we're used to the 6.95 price point go out refresh your memory have a little look online at uh, done pieces have a look on your high street look in your shop windows and remind yourself that pearls of this quality cultured genuine real deal pearls should not be 6.95 but they are here at jewelry maker so check out those baskets fm oh sorry fb mg34 is your code for you today now i've brought i'm gonna bring to you something a little bit spicy a little bit spicy a little bit zesty a little bit fun bright bold and beautiful this is your citrine really zesty citrine as well i've got to say Aren't they lovely? These you've got here, your citrine faceted medium nuggets that we have here. They are stunning and bright, aren't they? <clears throat> citrine. Three words. Spellbinding, Laura Binding. Go. Um, always the first word. Um, <laughs> always, without fail. <laughs> Calming. Calming. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> you've really. Oh no, you've put me right. Okay. Calming. <laughs> Have you just forgotten all words now? <laughs> I do cope well under pressure. You know this. I know. That's why I do it. Um, I don't know. Calming, earthy, sparkly. Why earthy? Because it, it, to me, it's that nice sort of, it's that, 
it's not what you would think of like that bright sparkle to go out it's that sort of to me it's more um i would put it with something like peridot or, or, or pre-night mm. and have it really sort of calmed and more sort of the muted down colors i know what you so mean. i see it in that respect like yeah. i would wear something more toned down but it would still give you that glitz because it's got that sparkle sparkle effect to it it's a bit more than three words i understand but yeah you got a lot point. More, but i'll let you off <laughs> Um, I like uh, Ben's three words. That was whiskey on ice. Oh, that's nice. That's really good. Yeah, I'm liking that. Putting you to shame, to be honest. Brandy lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Brandy and lemonade. There. Love that. If we're going down that room. <laughs> Didn't realise that was an option, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that. You have got 130 carats worth of your gorgeous, zesty, bright, fun citrine. Um, it is your fasted medium nuggets. And actually, we're going to give it to you today at a price that you probably couldn't get a whiskey on ice for your price today is don't feel like obviously you could get a whiskey on ice for 11.95 couldn't you easily even a really high-end one well no not a really high-end one a relatively high-end one so I'd better stick to my promise and take it lower for you your price point today is just eight pounds and 95 pence for you today on that and if you heard what we were talking about earlier on in my ear you'll know that Helena thinks that's the price of fish and chips <laughs> Helena was saying before to us that she gets her fish and chips at seven pounds. <laughs> I know. Do you think that? Random. How much is your local chippy? We don't know. We never really. We don't. don't really we're not chip and pip. Chip and pip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see what you're doing to me. I've just caught back chip your word models, haven't I? <laughs> You've passed it back, haven't you? That's just me. Yeah. I'm I not, love that. We're not really fish and chip people. Okay. We don't really have that very often. We have got one around the corner, but you don't really go. It's not, that, it's not that good. Oh, is it not? I think that's why we don't really have it very often. Oh, I love fish and chips. Um, loads and loads of you getting your hands on these today. It is an absolute bargain for you. Eight pounds and ninety-five pence. We've taken it down in price because my quantity is getting rather low. So do treat yourself to that zesty little number. How do you feel? about some findings now i've got that chain coming up for you in a bit i know we had a message sent in earlier um asking when it's coming that's coming in for you obviously within the next hour um i've got some findings for you now and these sorry <laughs> i don't know i've got butter fingers these come in the form of your shepherd's hooks with that gorgeous little twerk detail that's how it would appear from the front. So you've got kind of that gizmo-like effect here. You've got that ball detail, and then that would be the look from the side if you imagine that my tweezers are uh, ish where your earlobe would be and fit into these. Really nice dramatic drop with these. Spellbinding. These are obviously your earring shepherd's hooks, but we always say that you can use lots of different findings for different things. So what else could I use these for as opposed to just my earrings? Use them as clasps. They're really handy as clasps. Yeah, Put just do in. a little loop on the end of it, and you've got a clasp. And then what you could do with the other one is just sort of fold it over, and you would have like the hook as well. I love that idea. Yeah, it's really, really good one. It's really good if you run out of clasps or you know just want to make a nice matching sort of set. Mm. You see, you've got the see the one that you're holding. If you just brought that sort of end of the earring hook around, yeah. you would be able to create the hook. I like know the, exactly the eye, what you mean. Sorry, the, yeah. and wrap it, and then with the other one, you would just literally put a tight. I would probably cut it a tiny bit and then put a little loop in it. Love that idea. So actually, loads you could do with yeah. this. It's quite interesting, isn't it? Just to see different pieces that people can do. You've got 50 pairs here, which means in total you are going to be getting a hundred of these. I state that because, as I'm sure a lot of you will know, if you do read, you know, kind of um, your fashion magazines and, and that sort of thing, um, you will know that this year, kind of the one earring dangle is big, 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 big news. So um, you know, you don't have to use these as a pair individual ones are really going to be huge this year do treat yourself to these today if you're running low because let's face it when you run out of things like this it is a bit of a pain and I, I can genuinely say bottom of my heart that our quality is astonishing I've bought some relatively recently whereby the little loop section here I literally opened it to put on my um, kind of I had like a, a group of gemstones just on a head pin 
And then as I went to close it up, that whole bit just snapped off. And I went through loads and loads and loads of, of them individually, trying to just get in. It happens, doesn't it? If the quality is not there. Personally, I've never had that issue with our ones ever before. So um, they're a great quality. Your price point for 50 pairs is just six pounds and 95 pence for you today uh it's a wonderful price point if you're thinking that per pair you're looking at pennies really aren't you yeah and again it's always a nice um sort of stash builder if i know that we say if you do do parties if you do do fairs it's always handy to have them there a set of um mixed stones and make your own earrings choose yeah. your stone and i'll make them up for you at a set price perfect easy to do yeah easy to do yeah quick money maker very quick very s people yeah. can watch you and i suppose that's quite a nice thing to yeah. say that oh i saw these get made yeah yeah i oh, actually i chose them for you they made them up in front of me if you want to give it as a gift and you could keep the, the cost of it quite low and make it as little i know that chris has gone but like the secret santa's the little presents that you know you could set a budget for your friends yeah. or something like that mm. so you know it's good for that absolutely i um uh, as a lot of you may know, my kind of creative, I suppose, flair is more into kind of your um, paper crafting and things. And I've been, you know, doing cards and things like that, memory books for a very, very, very long time, years and years and years. And it's lovely just to, because on your on your cards and things like that, you can just have, you know, pairs of earrings attached yeah. onto them that look beautiful onto card, but then obviously they are You're wearable removable. and removable and you can wear them. It's not like something like a ring either, whereby you have to get the right size. Earrings fit all don't they yeah. uh, 6.95 for you on those today in the silver do treat yourselves if you want them oh i've got such a bright fun beautiful gemstone now it is your marker site i love that we've had more and more of this in if i think to this time last year i wouldn't have even been able to tell you what marker site is i, I wouldn't have told you what it looked like particularly because we just didn't have it on no i didn't know it existed and i absolutely love it i think it's beautiful it is, isn't it it's got such a sort of interest to it really does doesn't it yeah it is such a wonderful quality i have to say as well stunning quality you've only seen it once before you can see the quality instantly how do you know the quality of marker site well there's a few different ways in which we know it if i just get to a smaller bit if you don't mind there we go so um you can see that you've got the iron skin that's what we call this submetallic kind of effect that we've got there it's called the iron skin and as I'm spinning this around, you can see that you've got this individual kind of speckling effect and you can see that that is spanning through every single one of these. So you've not got one that's kind of almost bold, almost plain as it were. You've got kind of um, a nice evenness, that's what I'm looking for, evenness of the iron skin running across each of these. So there's not ones that are just kind of blue and then one that's really, really metallic. You've got that beautiful speckled effect. For me, it is an amped up version of your lapis lazuli, especially, especially for the fact mm. that this is blue. It gives you, it gives me more, it gives me more excitement, it gives me more interest. It gives me a little bit more of an impact because you've got more of that beautiful metallic effect only seen these once before your price point today your love it's just seven pounds and 95 pence for you on those today it is a beautiful beautiful stone i would say as well you know it's used regularly in the high-end named high-end brands um, as an accent for your diamonds it's used time and time and time again but what I do like about this is because of that aspect, you might think of it to be relatively feminine, but actually it's got quite a masculine feel to it, I think. It's got really, really yeah. deep, bold kind of look. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, cufflinks is what I was thinking. Cufflinks. Yeah, yeah you could just head. make double cufflinks. Yeah. And um, that's, that would, again, like you say, it's very masculine. You know, you can do the macrame style bracelets with the leather, and that would look really lovely as well absolutely agree with that i love the idea of these as cufflinks because actually if you were to do these as cufflinks um you can get your money back on one pair yeah, definitely and you'll have used what two four of them if you're going to do a double yeah, one you four two or four and again i think you get your money back they're unisex aren't they mm, yeah. doesn't have to be for male no of course not 
Of course not, because the androgynous look is massive at this moment. It's going to carry on through autumn and winter, apparently, as well. So it's perfect for that, isn't it? And, and if you were to make those cufflinks, you'd have all of this left over, money made back on this tiny section here, all of this pure profit. Seven ninety-five for you. Well done to everyone who is getting that today. I am about to bring you something very, very esteemed. When you think about regality, um, this gemstone will be the number one possibly that springs to mind. It might actually be sapphire. I know when I think royal regal, sapphire springs to mind. But actually, this one is kind of um, very much synonymous with the royalty as well. This is very, very special opportunity for you. Um, it might actually be a gemstone that some of you have never, ever even seen before. If you haven't, you won't be alone. This is a gemstone that even our sister channels cannot get their hands on often. I've got a few of these left, that's it. It is one of the most royal and prestigious gemstones in the world. <coughs> And it is in one of the most beautiful varieties. This is your inspirational pink spinel. This is one of the most esteemed gemstones in the world. It is so regal, it is so royal. The fact of the matter is, this gemstone has been kind of, you know, synonymous really with, in particular, kind of um, British royalty, I suppose, for many, many years. Right from kind of Henry V. Henry V, I'm sure you will have known, had a large piece of spinel set into his helmet when he went into the Battle of Agincourt in, when was that, 1415, I think, yeah, 1415 it was. And um, he had in his helmet, which was made out of a, a strong metal, he had a piece of spinel in the front section. Now, in the Battle of Agincourt that Henry went into, he was essentially hit over the head with a large axe whilst they were in battle obviously by the um, opposition side. And what happened was the axe itself went straight through the metal on the helmet. It wasn't, it was purely for the fact of this gemstone stopping that blade that he was actually able to survive the attack because the metal in the helmet was actually weaker than this gemstone. If that gemstone wasn't here, if that axe had hit just slightly off center of where it actually did, he would have been killed instantly. It's due to this gemstone. And that gem actually that was in, um, in his helmet is actually, um, it's it's now in the British Imperial State Crown actually so it's still with us now and of course when we think of the crown jewels that we have at the moment and we think of the Kuwait ruby as well don't we which is in the British crown jewels and essentially it was called the Kuwait um, ruby because they initially did think it was ruby huge piece it's over 300 carats worth but more recent kind of interest and more interest um, kind of looking into it has basically shown that it's actually a spinel but that is one of the main focal pieces so you've got pieces of spinel from kind of Henry's time Henry the fifth time that are in the imperial court jewels you've got that beautiful huge piece they used to think it was a ruby which is why this is known as master of disguise they used to think it was a ruby and and now um, that's in the crown jewels still and that's actually a spinel as well this seriously is an esteemed royal regal gemstone that has been renowned over time. I've only ever seen pink spinel like this once or twice before. I don't think we've ever, I don't think I've ever seen any alternative to this strand. We are extremely, extremely low in stock of this. Spinel is esteemed. It is regal. It is royal. Spinel, actually, some varieties of spinel are rarer than rubies. Rubies, we know, are very, very rare and very unusual anyway. They're one of the big four, but actually, certain types of spinel are even rarer than ruby itself. It is a standout individual piece. It is esteemed. It is precious. Your price point will not reflect that. 
This is a gemstone which is in the Imperial Court jewellery. This is a gemstone that is in the crown jewels at this moment in time, worn on special occasions by the Queen and, and all of kind of the previous royalty before her. That beautiful, huge 352 carat piece. This is a regal, royal, esteemed gemstone. The fact you could even get it for $24.95 from us is astonishing. The fact that you could even past tense lowest ever price point coming in for you right now you've never seen this price on this strand before because it's the last opportunity 19 pounds and 95 pence this is an esteemed gemstone this is high-end regal royalty when you think of kind of the monarchy and you think of these beautiful beautiful regal pieces this is going to be one of those gemstones that you see and you hear about time and time and time again when we have on our sister channel spinel hours we have spinel showcases you will be lucky 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 if you see one piece of a sp pink spinel in that section you will be so so lucky you have colors similar to this in richness of this that's all rarer than a ruby when you're saying this is a gemstone which used to get confused with ruby this is a gemstone which is actually more notorious i would say as being a regal and royal gemstone than ruby itself and then when you're saying actually certain colors of this gemstone are rarer than ruby you are ticking so many boxes but that is not a ruby price point that's not even a spinel price point that actually is more of a what price point are we expecting for that decent amethyst that is not a spinel price point let alone your pink spinel from africa with this clarity with that richness with that beauty and that workmanship the workmanship on this is exquisite these are detailed micro faceting taking place on some of these because some of them are two by one decent size on some of them though all the way up to a four by two the clarity is sent sensational and the sparkle is captivating just look at the captivating sparkle it's bewildering if you want to treat yourself to a truly esteemed gemstone if you want to treat yourself to something that actually is so regal so royal so renowned so much loved in a beautiful color palette then now is your opportunity to do so you've never ever ever seen that price point before so please get it whilst you can because you're unlikely to see it again quantity wise it's getting super duper low super duper low in quantity once everybody checks out how many would I have approximately produced a Helena? We'll have about 10 left, that's it. Once it's gone, it's gone. And I just need to make you very, very aware as well, please, that we've only been allowed to do that price point because we're already low in stock. And also once we've got those 10 have gone, um, we haven't got any more of this scheduled. So even in like the next few coming weeks, what we've got here is what we've got. We're clearing out um, and it's 19 pounds and 95 pence. Well done multi buyers on this because you know you'll save yourself a massive amount of money. I've got to move on because we are low in stock, but please stay on the phone for that because it is too exquisite to forget. And when we're speaking of exquisite gemstones, I think um, you've got the opportunity to get another one right here, actually. One of the hardest gemstones in the world to collect. Um, but when you've got quality like this, you can actually see why they go to so much time and effort. This is your Imperial Topaz. This is my second favorite gemstone as well, Ben. Or is it? Is it my third? I don't know. I can never tell. This and Zircon always fights it out. Um, this is your Imperial Topaz that we have here. The clarity is almost unfounded, actually, of this strand. It is spectacular. Have you got that slide for me, please, Director Ben, regarding this gemstone? Because it is spectacular. This is a um, slide for you, just explaining this gemstone. Um, you have got four pictures there. I'll talk you through them really quickly. At the top of them is actually Steve Bennett, um, who is CEO, gem collector, etc. I'm sure a lot of you will know of him. Um, he's the one in the top corner, mining. Um, you can also see his finger at the bottom one. That's pointing out a piece of the rough of this. And actually, it's almost impossible to see where the rough ends and the topaz begins. That's another reason that it 
it's so so tricky actually for you to get your hands on this gemstone because it is hard to find in the bottom corner also you have got for you that kind of lake in the background that's actually the mine which is covered for a very long period of time due to the water table and we can't get to that mine often because it literally fills up with water and then the top corner there is the most kind of the closest to town and village I suppose it's got all these beautiful kind of individual baroque like uh, buildings absolutely stunning those are Steve's words in the middle it says that without question Imperial Topaz is one of the world's most coveted gemstones he also goes on to say a little bit later on that Topaz is one of those gemstones that all gem collectors and connoisseurs seek to one day acquire today could be your day to acquire this because it is a genuinely sensational sensational piece we can't get to it all the time of the year but when we can we get as much as we can because we know how much you love this imperial gemstone your price point today should should be seventeen pounds and ninety-five pence. Today we are going to tell. Oh, look how gorgeous is that! Oh my gosh, it's absolutely stunning. Imagine this with amber. Imagine this with zircon. Oh, hello, match made in heaven. Your price point today is actually twelve pounds and ninety-five pence for you today. That is five pounds back in your pocket because it's one of my favourites. I've just been told. Plenty of you coming in for this. Um, Spellby, what would you do with this strand, please? To really show off the clarity, but also the colouring. I would do um, two things. I'd do a set that simple. I should do three things. Do a set that simple, earrings and a pendant just wrapped at the top, mm, like a little that. bead cap. Um, I would do um, a necklace with just some chain here and here um, and just a piece of wire through the top of the, st um, the stone and literally linking it to the two pieces of chain. Oh, I so see. It, it literally, really an eye pin in effect going through the stone. So two chains? Yeah. What colour chain. chain would you go? Um, well, I don't know. I would go gold, but I think I would go silver. Gold or silver? Go with no, both, I would go it? with both. You could mix metal it. You could do two pieces mm. and have it sort of um, like a, a chain effect of it and have a tassel of both of it. Mm. Um, but you know, the other thing I would do is a, um, a woven frame and just weave it around the edge of it so it's yeah. almost bezel set in a weave. Got but you. you still get the beauty of the stone. Yeah, I love those ideas. Uh, five pound back in your pocket. Well done, everyone who's getting your hands on those. Your names are going to go off my, off my screen very, very soon if you continue to check out at the speed you are doing. Thanks for doing that. Um, just at twelve pounds ninety-five pence for you today. And what I will say is we're getting to that drop-off point at the moment with our imperial topaz because of the mining season of this. Um, it's getting to that point relatively soon. Once we've kind of cleared out our stock of all of this, we will be waiting a few months for that mining period to kick back in so we can get new yields of this so get it as soon as you can realistically 12.95 for you today five pound back in your pocket b are you 35 no i'm not oh i am what <laughs> you are though i had to think about it i was like no yes oh i am <laughs> oh i am um, so where are we going to <laughs> gold chain chain this season is huge when i say this season i'm really looking forward i mean in spring summer it is massive it is everywhere chain has been big news don't get me wrong with chain was big news in 2014 but this year as happens actually quite often doesn't it when you think about it a trend will start and it will be kind of quite subtle and it'll happen but then the next year people go a step further with it like do you remember when um kind of color color blocking color clashing was kind of in and what you'd have is you'd have like lots and lots of like black t-shirts and then it might just have say a, a bright red pocket or something but then the year after it was color blocking in the way of like you had a red top and blue jeans or blue trousers but the really bright poppy it's that kind of uh, progression that happens when it comes with fashion a lot of the time and chain has done that we saw sneaky peaks of it 2014 but actually 2015 it's taken it to a whole new level so get ahead of the curb because people are going to be looking out for this especially when it's in one of your favorite styles this is your figaro chain take a look 
10 meters worth so you've got plenty when we talk about the figure eight chain we're talking about this effect we get here so you get the larger twisted loop and then you have consecutive smaller loops that can go back into the larger etc etc lovely thing with this is it gives you a little bit of a different effect um, because you've got the different effects in the way that you've got the larger link here which is around seven by three and then you've got the smaller sections which are around three by two on that so it gives you a lovely effect but it also means that if you want to do something like a um, charm bracelet for example it's really easy for you to work out exactly where you need to put those charms because you know sometimes when you have just your normal kind of loop chain that every single loop is the same and you're trying to do yourself a charm bracelet can get to that slightly irritating point where you're counting across and maybe you've accidentally counted wrong and one of them slightly off centre. With this it's so much easier to work with if you are doing something like that. Have you got that slide for me, Ben, of kind of some fashion forward pieces that I found using chain that actually would be beautiful to use with this chain, I think. Um, these are just some kind of fashion pieces that I found that I just think are going to give you some ideas of exactly how to use this how lovely are some of these pieces take a little look at those i love the pearl one i have to say that you've got that beautiful chain and then you've just got that graduation of sizes i do love that bottom right one as well it looks really stunning when you've got like um you use them actually almost as like a back detail effect on this as well the headbands which of course have been massive for the last few years they're set to continue as well as things like your slave bracelets as well they are set to it just goes to show that you can use chain in many 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 different ways don't just think of it to hand a pang a pendant off or to make your um, charm bracelets from you can use these in many many different ways your price point for 10 meters worth today 29 pounds and 95 pence now wait this is fashion forward we want you to get ahead of the curve because we know especially if you sell your pieces or if you've got you know maybe teenagers people in their early 20s who you find it really hard to make something fashion forward for them because it's their kind of Christmas uh, you know sorry their birthday coming up or whatever or even if you're just very fashion forward and you want to create something funky we're going to give you the opportunity to do so for less everyone pays the same even you lot who've already checked out today it's not 30 pounds it's 21 pounds and 95 pence for 10 meters worth of this what do you think of that price point i think that's brilliant isn't it and again i mean i made um, a body chain with that um, on last designer inspiration mm. and i still had absolutely tons of it left you know being that figaro as well yeah um, it's, it's got those lovely little natural sort of sections where you can add little drops and charms yeah. and it, it, you know, you can, it's, all, it's already done the work for you yeah. because it's, it's there, you know, yeah. and for me, I just, I would layer it up and have it for my pendants. Yeah. Because that's what I tend to do, so I've got it ready made. Absolutely agree with that. It is, don't forget, your really high quality as well because it is your gold plating that we have on this. Um, yeah, really, really beautiful. And don't forget, we can use these in lots and lots of different ways. It's just, it's just lovely that we can add different pieces to this. You know, mixed medium on this would be absolutely fantastic. Um, I do absolutely adore it, and a lot of you do as well. Do check out those baskets on this. Twenty-one ninety-five, not a price point you're used to seeing for this, but you've got it today anyway. Um, Z G A Z sixty-one. That's your code. I've only got about twenty-five minutes left. I've got quite a bit more to fit in, so please keep checking out of those baskets. Hello to Mercedes. How are you, lovely Pauline as well, Lisa? What did you say to me then, sweet pain? Oh, you've got a bit of a picture of Gemma Crow. <laughs> Gemma Crow is big about the chain. There we go, standard Gemma Crow chain picture. That's something that she created using lots and lots and lots of chain. If you want to create something like that, you'd need to get a few of your um, reels of this, because obviously she's, <laughs> sorry, that was my thinking, hum. <laughs> um, you, you've probably got about kind of, uh, you need about, I'm sure she said it's about 35 or 40 meters worth. So treat yourself to a few of these, because don't forget, it will be a high-end piece. 21.95 for you today on this. Where to did you say next? Sorry, lovely. Finally, where is it? Yeah, I know I can't. Oh, it's fallen off. It's fallen off. It's fallen off. Oh my gosh, it is. I've got internal druzy. My favourite gemstone in the world. I love opal 
I love all varieties of opal. I love them for so many different reasons. I love that some of them you get pin fire. I love that some of them you get banding. I love that you get um, different colors, different tones, different saturations, different effects. I love the fact that I'm about to bring to you right now a one locational opal. That's another reason I love opal. Opal brings you so, so much. Certain gemstones aren't just one locational, aren't they? You don't get kind of your one locational quartz or anything, do you? Well, you're agate. You get one locational big names. You get one locational mookite, one locational tanzanite, one locational boulder opal. And I've got it here for you right now. 75 carats worth. Take a little look. Oh, it is genuinely spectacular, isn't it? I love that you get this different banding. Can you see that internal jersey in the middle on there? It's stunning, isn't it? It's just twinkling away. Um, I love that you've got this different banding. That's purely Mother Nature. We haven't painted that on or anything silly. It's purely Mother Nature. And what she's done is she's um, collected different elements and different minerals on the way um, as the water has kind of crept through the earth into the cracks and crevices and you've got that hydrated silicon dioxide as this forms and she's picked up little different ele elements time and time and time again over long, 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 long periods of time as these form. And that's why you get that banding. You get areas of gentle blues in here, which is stunning. It's not a gemstone color that Mother Nature works with that much. In fact, the color I'm getting is pretty much exactly the same as the colors that you've got in the angelite, actually. Just areas of it, just elements of it when you're seeing. You've kind of got those effects, haven't you, actually? Um, it is just a beautiful, beautiful gem. Oh, sorry. It's a beautiful, beautiful gem for you with those beautiful blue colours. It's quite interesting, this gemstone, because it is on location. I have actually found you a picture of the mine if you'd like to have a little look. This is a picture of the mine. So this is from um, a field in Queensland. It's called an opal field, that's the name of it. And this is actually carried out in open cut mining. Now what that means is we don't actually go into the crust of the earth in the sense of huge, huge tunnels. So if you'll imagine a lot of um, your mining for opal in particular in Australia actually will be digging you know, deep, deep tunnels that are kind of, you sometimes have to actually abseil into them. The thing with that is it's considered very, very dangerous to do that type of shaft mining. But with this, this is your open cut um, mining, which means that essentially you kind of scoop the area of the earth away, almost like a sand pit. You'll scoop it away, search through, you'll scoop a bit more, search through, and then you'll fill it back in and kind of move on to the next area and so on and so forth. So it's a little, so it, it's it's less dangerous way of mining this for many reasons, uh, for many reasons, kind of um, uh, in particular for the miners themselves. So it's a real kind of safe form of mining and that's where we get this from. It's from this open core um, opal field in your Queensland, Australia. Plenty of you are coming in for this already. Gorgeous unisex strand that we have here. It's a beautiful, beautiful quality. It genuinely is. Lots of clarity to this as well. Your price point today for totally natural one locational opal. Nine thousand ninety-five pence. Um, Barry Mill. Um, um, who else? I can't pronounce anyone else's name. Yeah. Muriel. Um, Ellie's. Ellie's. There's loads here with uh, slightly unusual names that I can't pronounce. Um, lots and lots of you who have come in for this. Have you bought it? Be honest, because you know that ninety percent of the time when I bring you opal, if I can, I will price drop it. If it is, you're clever. £7.95 pence is your price point on this today. I've taken the price point down for you. I will try to if I can on Opal. Don't get me wrong, I can't do it all the time, but I will try to because it's one of those things that I love, I adore. I want other people to adore it and love it as well. So I try and pass on bargains if we can do it, of course. I try and pass on the deals because it's like with anything, I'm sure a lot of you will agree with this at home, you know, if you try out a new recipe or if you watch a new TV programme, you kind of want to get other people involved with it, don't you? You try and explain to them how great it is and try it out and love it. 
and it's like that. It is like that with me and Opal. I want everyone to enjoy it so much. I want everyone to try it. So get your hands on it today um, at a reduced price point, $7.95 for you today. It is unique. It is one locational. It is your stunning Boulder Opal, 75 carats worth at $7.95. I'm about to do some cabochons for you now. It's your bloodstone. I've not got many. That's your heads up. Oh, Opal, I love you. Um, have a little look at these. Get on the phone if you want them because I've got so, so few of them. I'm close to Last Chance Saloon. These are your bloodstone cabochons. 700 carats worth in total. Let me show you a few of them. You've got your deep rich, look at that, it's almost, um, it's really hard for you to see the colour of that actually. But it is that kind of archetypal deep denim, I would say. You've also got that gorgeous archetypal bloodstone effect colour, that deep richness. Um, you've got a look at those little speckle-like effects for you today it is really beautiful i love the half and half split ones as well that you get that's a really exceptional effect isn't it different shapes different sizes i've got a drop effect style here as well for you and um, every single one of these is slightly different they're all unique they're all individual well done to you who are already coming in for this because we are getting low in stock now and um, you have got beautiful bloodstone we hardly ever see it on multi-shaped cabochons so you can see the picture that you've got on your screen now is just an alternate way that we were sent this because we get sent it in different forms so you've got you know um, you had a few there but they were obviously a little bit bigger but our ones we've got plenty plenty more here it still equates 700 carats you might get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12 like me you might get 12 like me you might get 14 that will be smaller you might get 10 that are a bit bigger all I can say is you will definitely get 700 carats they will be multi-shaped and it will be bloodstone your price point for Ben V 21 it's just 21 and 95 pence for you today. 21 night, 121 pounds and 90. <laughs> I don't know why I started weirdly singing. Uh, 21 nine, 21 nine, 21, 21 pounds and 95 pence for you today. Lady Queen of Cab, some might say. Um, Lady B, <laughs> Ben insists I now call you. Lady B, um, <laughs> what would you do with these, please? Um, I just think there's so much scope for those, isn't there? The colourway, you've got those lovely, rich, sort of earthy colours. Are just, I would obviously team them with copper because that's what I would do. Obviously. Um, I would make, there's one there that looks perfect for a ring right at the bottom. Yeah. It looks like a nice ring size. But you know, the first designer inspiration, you could make um, a more focal, like the ring that I made here. <laughs> yeah. Look, I happen to have it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you could do that in a bangle design with one of the larger cabochons and, and create like a, a bangle effect just netted in the middle really using nice really idea. thick, the two mil copper, uh, raw copper wire that we've got. Really nice And idea. Um, keep it really nice and simple and just make that stone a feature. Mm, I love that idea. And especially as you've got so much opportunity yeah. to do so here, I would say, I know some people, it can be quite worrying, it can be quite daunting, quite scary to maybe work with something totally and absolutely new that you've not worked with before but when you've got this amount you have got the opportunity and so what if the first one goes wrong you've got loads more to work with just 21 pounds and 95 pence for you today 700 carats worth of your bloodstones today do treat yourself if you want it faceted pear drops of sapphire i did give you a little sneaky peeky of these earlier on and now you get the chance to have a really really good look at them Faceted drops, all top drilled, sapphire. Really wonderful, strong sapphire. This is 130 carats worth of your blue sapphire that we have here today. Again, I know we've spoken a lot about regality. You know, we've spoken a lot about how, you know, royal stones with this for now. This is probably the one that springs to mind, though, actually, when it comes to kind of the regality, because we do think of sapphire as that prestige, possibly because of, you know, more current royals, possibly, than the spinel, actually, in the sense of, you know, um, 
Diana with her blue sapphire ring. I'm with um, obviously Kate Middleton with hers, uh, with Mrs. Simpson with her bracelet of this blue sapphire. Um, so it. <laughs> <laughs> no, not Homer's wife. Um, <laughs> um, no. Um, you are thinking of those kind of high-named, prestigious, kind of strong, powerful women in many ways wearing this beautiful gemstone. Um, it is stunning, stunning, rich, deep blue sapphire and it is natural. Your price point today for 130 carats worth should... Yeah should be 39 pounds and 95 pence but we haven't seen it in a while and i'm low in stock those two things coming together say that we're allowed to reduce the price and we're going to we're not going to take off five pounds we're going to take off more your price point for day natural blue sapphire 29 pounds and 95 pence for you today this is bedazzling this is sparkle this is eye-catching shine and it's natural when you're dealing with your natural sapphire you are in a very small, small minority of people who actually get to own this gem. Sapphire. No, don't. Do it. don't. <laughs> Three words. No. Spellbinding. Go. Um, special, luxurious, and elegant. Love that. Good, you are getting better at this. Why elegant, please? Because I think, for me, I, if I was wearing just one drop of that, and uh, like just three of those stones, earrings and um, a pendant, for mm. me, that would just be a nice, elegant, wearable, high-end piece of jewellery. Got you. Of course it would. Really beautiful, high-end, wearable. Um, you have got £29.95 for you on this today. That's £10 back in your pocket for this HPGK26. That's your code. Get it if and when you can, because you do have to be quick on this one. £29.95 for you today. Tell me that again. We've had a lot of really royal and kind of high-end, high-named gemstones on right now. And I'm bringing you another one, a completely unique and individual and different. Have a little look. Beautiful road night. They are beautiful. Aren't they? Six hundred carats worth we've got here. Isn't that eye catching? Every single one totally different, totally unique. Beautiful six hundred carats worth. When we're talking about kind of interesting and important gemstones, I mention this one due to the fact that it has been used in very prestigious high end um, pieces. It, it, it's known for being, used to be referred to as an imperial gemstone in the sense that it, it was used in imperial courts. It was used by big names such as Fabergé. And actually, I have got a picture of this that depicts exactly how well known and how much loved this was. Um, because with the name of the imperial court, etc., the... Um, this has been made to create the Kremlin. This is a piece made with this gorgeous, gorgeous gemstone. You can actually see that this is your rhodonite paired with high-end gemstones. What can we see? Can you see anything? What else can we see? Sapphire. You see sapphire. That's encrusted in the top. You'd have to look really closely. You've also got that emerald. Look at those huge, big, bold pieces of your emerald there. They are sensational aren't they um, and you've also got precious metals in there as well and and obviously you can see the main stone there is this one it is beautiful quality rhodonite we don't see it often and i've got to say as well that the sizing and the shape of these is really unusual what would you be doing with your puffy 20 uh, mil squares of a rhodonite please spellby i'd making a ring of course I'd cocktail make, ring making a wire wrap pendant that's ideal for me, it's perfect size and uh, it's a perfect gemstone. 
it is something that I would be getting because, again, what appeals to me is that the pink is, um, I think, a suit all kind of pink. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, I would wear, I'm not a pink person, but I well, would you, wear that because yes. it's, it's that right shade of pink. Again, it would go with any skin tone. Yeah. Um, and I think, you know, as a gift, it's, you, if you've got, someone's just had a little girl, you know, that they don't wear really girly jewellery. Yeah. It's something that you can still tie that pinkness in, but keep it a little bit more neutral. Absolutely agree with that. It is, it's quite a grown up. Yeah. Pink, it's isn't it? It's pink. dusky. Yeah. Hey, it'd go really nicely, actually, with the colour of the pink of those little cabs that we had earlier yeah, on. Yeah, it would really go lovely. You could set yeah. one at the top and make, like, um, oh. a double pendant with it. Oh, that's a really pretty idea. Really pretty. Your price point today for 600 carats worth is just six pounds and 95 pence for you today. Multi buyers on this, plenty of you getting your hands on this one. There's lots and lots and lots of kind of capabilities and possibilities to come in with this. I love how every single one is different. I love how you could use these as if they were a cabochon, because of course, notoriously, Rhodonite, we know that we've got that opaque um, effect and look with these, every single one. So if you wanted to use these as a bit of an unusual shape, shape kind of cabochon style look then you absolutely could because you've got the drill horn in there but you can't see it you could hide that massively no one would have to know and if you were to do that of course you can pick your favorite you can pick the one with oh my gosh some of these have got seams in them some of these are almost dendritic actually in appearance almost that fern like internal structure that you'd expect they are just beautiful, rich, deep, quite bold as well in their appearance. Plenty of you coming in. Um Multi buyers are coming in on this, and it's just six pounds and ninety-five pence you for you. Yeah. I didn't have time to give you a heads up. No. I'm so sorry. So sorry. <gasps> and oh, how many? No way. And then I'm just working on like a bit of a more modern type of pendant. Helena. You are going to fall in love, I think. Look at this piece. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that a really kind of nice effect? Don't forget those are your genuine pearls that we had there. The pearls are coming at the bottom of the screen. If we've got any left, they'll be in at the bottom of your screen. They were that beautiful, beautiful coloured pearl. Almost a perfect round. They were only millimetre off. Um, and they were 9 95 for you today. And then, I love the twist you've added to that. Well, it was using the ribbon. It was that tiny little piece that I cut off of the demo piece, really. Mm. Um, and it's just to show what you can do with it, you know, to, to do something a bit different. And I just was working on a quick sort of more modern pendant. Um, I'll just show you it. But what I wanted to show you, I don't know if you'll be able to catch it. You were saying about these carnelian having that glow. Yes. If you look, you probably won't be able to catch it, but you can see this. I can see the glow of the carnelian is going through to the metal. Yeah, so the metal is can actually getting a, an orange tinge Can you to see it? it? Because the light's shining through. That's the quality. There, oh, there you go. There you go. That is the quality of that and that's carnelian. that's the glow of the carnelian reflecting on the on the silver. Look at these pieces as well. We've got that gorgeous carnelian in the ring. That's going to really reflect through. Look at the swirl detail on that. Bags do this one. Bags do <laughs> this one. Look at those funky earrings too. How have you done that? I've literally just, um, I had two little pieces of wire. Again, this was little, when I was doing a demonstration at the beginning, I had little off cuts. So I've just used that and I would have hammered it if I wasn't in a studio. Of course. <laughs> um, to give it a little bit of texture. Um, and then this one as and well. And then there's that one as well. Yeah, and I've literally just sewn that one on. And that one's just, I wanted to show that they do work well as a combination. So it's just a bit of a quick. It's beautiful. That's your final piece just there. It's absolutely beautiful for you. When are you next with us, Spellby? Next Sunday. Next Sunday. Yeah. Thank you so much for today. Nice As always, fun. I had a riot of a time. Uh, Vicky is on the late show, so stay tuned. And tomorrow I'm with Fleur. Stay where you are. We'll see you very soon. Come and join Jewelry Maker on Facebook and get involved with over 50,000 people who have liked us. You'll get up-to-date information about our channel from the latest images of designs by our fantastic guests, gossip on what is coming up in the shows and the newest information on our workshops. You can get in contact with jewellery makers all over the world and get some fantastic hints and tips.